That didn't work. Well, now it says I'm live. It says you're live? Yeah, it says now we're, we're, we're live on um, generative systems right now. So, <laughs> um, so hold on, we gotta go to the next step. Uh, let me turn that on. So I'll get it here. And you said generative systems is key. I see Tulsi Gabbard defends Donald Trump. Oh, I'm sorry. I see you. <laughs> oh, you do? I see you. I see you in the generative system Facebook group that uh, um, I see. I say it says Danielle is live. Oh, yeah. Uh, Got it. Okay. There you are. And there I am. And so this so is me, what I want to do. Let me see if we have audio. Want, Hold on one second. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I see you. We, I do? I see you. Yeah, we, I see you in the generative system Facebook group. Okay, remember we're that, 50, we're fifteen um, we're fifteen. That Danielle is live. Oh yeah. Uh, Got it. Okay. There you are. Okay, you. And you, there I am. And so. You hear me? This is what I want to do. Let me see if we have. Yeah. yeah. Okay, go ahead. What do you want to do? I'm, I'm going to turn my audio off. Uh, give me one second. Let's try our other thing. We know this works, so we can come back to this, correct? Yeah. So let's what go. I, what I want to do is um, I want to switch the Zoom over, give you the Zoom controls. Uh, and um, I, want, I, want to, I want to make you the... Um, I want to make you the host. I'm making you the host now. Oh, I thought you already did that. No, you... now I'm doing that. I was just setting everything up on generative systems first. Oh, I understand. What you're now doing. you're the host. Now you could. Now you're in control. And we're live. We're going live right now. Actually, I think this whole thing is broadcasting live. Well, that's okay. We're completely live. Okay. Can you hear me at all? Can yeah, I, I hear you perfectly. Oh, okay. Okay. I wasn't sure. So can we move to the next step to see if it'll work? Yeah. What's the next step? Uh, that you fire up your Skype. Okay. Give me a second here. Yeah. Well, I'm on my phone. Let me get my Skype on on my um, other computer. Hold on a second. Right, so now what? we're live on... We're live on Zoom for sure. Yeah, yeah, no, we're, I'm 100%. I got you. I, I, that's very, thank you. <laughs> and it's not, feedback, <laughs> at least it's not feedbacking right here. So that's good. Okay, so when you want me to go on Skype, what do you want me to do on there? Just turn that on first. I'm going to walk through a series of things, or help you'll, you'll help me walk through a series of things. So first okay. thing I'm going to do is I'm on Zoom, okay, and I'm on my desktop, uh -huh. and I'm going to fire up one of the movies to sh to share my desktop on Zoom. Okay. Okay. And see if everything the sound comes through. Uh, I'm waiting for the movie to play. <laughs> It does. Okay, but now to share my desktop, I go to the main page. I go to share screen. I can either share the movie or I can share my desktop. I'm going to share my desktop. What do I do? Oh, I see, share. Now, Daniela, do you think I should share the computer sound now or not touch that right now? Or... That's a good question. I mean, I think that it's, I, I'm not 100% sure because okay, well, let you're, me do you're, doing everything, you're doing everything right now through, um, oh, I see all these other people joining us. 
Well, I'm sure you open the door and they rush right in. <laughs> okay, I am not on Facebook. I'm not seeing the desktop coming through. There it is. But I'm not here. Are you hearing me at all? Because I turned my sound down. I hear I hear you perfectly. I'm waiting that 15 seconds to see if we hear the Facebook Zoom, uh, the Facebook page come in. I'm not hearing. I, I, I'm, I'm sensing that the um, audio is not coming through to Facebook. Let me check. I'm going to look on Facebook separately. <coughs> it's not a change. It's the same way. Three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand, ten thousand, eleven thousand, thirteen thousand. Is not coming through the Facebook. It is coming through Facebook. I'm on my Facebook page, and I hear, I hear it. Oh, you know it's why? Coming I'm in through not, Facebook. I know why I'm not hearing it. My speaker's down on Facebook. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing it now. We're like in a tunnel. It is coming through Facebook. I'm on my Facebook page, and I hear I. Yeah. Oh, you know why? Again, on Facebook. Okay, I think we've done it. I think we're there. Okay, well, I'm I'm not sure what to do now because you have a couple more hours. Do you just want to just keep leaving things live and letting folks join? I, I, I don't know you who just joined. Uh, me, what's your name? Audio, let me turn the audio off. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is this is the video that's uh, playing on the right corner. I have three or four of those that are at least a half an hour, 40 minutes, 50 minutes long. I'm just going to let them play. And they're, they're okay. earlier conversation. So, and then a guy in uh, Thailand, uh, Willard, somebody or other. I'm sorry, I don't know his name well, but he is yeah, going to monitor uh, this. Well, yeah, he, you do, you do realize that we've been joined by someone else too, right? I didn't hear you one more time. We we've been joined by, but we have a we have a, an additional guest, and coming in on. That might be Willard. No, oh, that's the video. Oh, that's not that's the video. That's not a. Oh my gosh, this is so confusing. Okay. Good, Good. it's working. If you're confused, it's working. Um. <laughs> Okay, here's the deal now. What? Let's just let that play. You can turn. I'm, I turned off all my audio related to that stuff. Okay. Um, okay. The issue is, what if, like, just right now on my screen here, you know, an unstable signal came up, being bandwidth issues. <laughs> what happens if this just my end dies and gets cut off? Well, what I mean, I people will still be on because technically, that. Um, um, those people technically, this is running and and you know, so do I just go live? It's live on Facebook, right? But when it comes back on again, I just go through all the motions again, correct? I mean, how will I automate? Is there a way that I automatically get back to feeding to Facebook Live if my computer goes offline? That's the question. I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> You're like me. I was like, oh, what happens if we do this? You know what I'm saying? If the catastrophe of the, the our connection here gets cut off. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give you my I'm gonna email you my cell phone number. Okay. And you you call call me. I'm gonna have a ton of people here Being busy. Uh, at you know. four o'clock my time, which is the same time that that that's starting. So you gotta definitely okay. tell me before four. Now, let me go through one more um, option. Right now, just so we can see it, since we're together, you, you know, let's, we did not do the Skype thing yet. I think we should do the Skype thing before we hang up, because that's going to take more bandwidth up, correct? <laughs> 
Yeah. So let's try it just so we see what happens. <coughs> okay. I'm going to call you right now. Now, I'm calling you through the group only because I, if it works, I might want to leave it on and uh, you know leave the connection on. Uh, but we might get everybody else, I think. <laughs> Is that possible? Ooh, that didn't work. Wait, I'm confused. You're going to call me through what? The through... I want to call the... you through... I, I guess I, I, well, let me let me since it's working. I guess I don't have to call you through the group, do I? I'm trying to conceptualize this before you hang up. I because I didn't. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. I, let me call you nonetheless. I'm going to call you just normally. On okay. on Skype. On Skype, yeah. So okay, uh, just hang in there. It's I'm, I'm going to do it through my personal line. Okay. Okay. All right, Bruce. I turn, I hung up. So that's the echo business because we are hearing the yeah. in the room. Let me try it one more time. I'm gonna turn the volume down. I just I just want to make sure uh, that we've tried every option here. Um, your your little uh, picture of me up in the corner is in the way. There we go. Hello. Okay. Oh, that's better. Yeah, yeah this reverbing. Well, this is going to be a big Thank night you. for reverbing, so that, that's the least of my issues for this evening. Uh, but we do have both on, and this is separate than what's happening at um, Facebook. This is probably the I wisest. I think you should turn the Facebook volume oh. all the way down. The Facebook volume should be all the way down. Yeah, it's off. This is this is because of the and Skype. Then, Hi, Barb. This is because and your cords over in the corner there, and the plugs are everywhere. Um, I think it's not going to work with the Skype on. No, I think I I think when when you well everybody's calling in via Skype. The whole thing is done via Skype, right? Uh, it's hard to hear you because I'm getting six versions of you. <laughs> I mean, visual's good, but the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, well, okay. One of the reasons, okay. And then as okay, far wait, as, is that, be is that better? I muted my microphone. Yes. Much better. Um, do you want to just, okay, I think, what, yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. Go ahead. I got it. I think what you, what, what you sent me an email that said, share my audio yes. on your computer. I think yeah. you need to check that and that you want to share you want to log in maybe through connect through your computer audio and then share your audio through your computer that way it's sharing the skype audio i think because you want the skype audio to be heard on which one do you, which, which one do you have turned off right now i have the skype audio turned off and you're hearing through zoom I'm actually calling into Zoom on the phone. I'm using the phone. We are so close. Let me get this settle my mind because uh, I think we're there. It's since you're not going to be there, you're going to hang up, and then anybody that calls in, the sound reverb shouldn't be <laughs> because they're not sitting where you are. Correct? Or do you think it's going to reverb? Yeah, I'm. I'm going to. I'm going to leave the computer on and running. Um, but it doesn't, it's not capturing any sound and it's not outputting any sound. So the computer is going to be on and running. You have all the controls. It's live right now. Everybody who's on generative systems right now could even see it. And then I think that what's, what, what, what's important is that when you do share, because you're trying to share what's happening on Skype onto Zoom, which is what I'm doing, is right? That you make sure that uh, you make sure that I would I would share the because um, when you do go into the share function, you know how Zoom allows you to share. You can share the Skype, you can share the desktop. I would share the Skype and make sure the audio is enabled on that because if you share the Skype and make sure the audio is enabled on that, they should be able to hear it on Zoom. Well, that's and what then we're when doing you right want to play, yeah, yeah. But I didn't but you touch. Know, you're sharing your. You're sharing your yeah. You're sharing your desktop. That's different than sharing this app. It's only, you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, because uh, to be frank, I, I think what you're seeing uh, somewhere, I'm going to shut this window, in this room here where the theater is, this is what we're going to be looking at. Right. We're not, we're not going to be seeing Facebook at all. That's not going to be on in this room. Good. Okay. Yeah, and, and I, don't, I wouldn't worry about the Facebook at all. What I would say is that on the share screen, you could share. <coughs> when you go to your share on Zoom, you can yeah. share an app where you can share the desktop, where you can share something else, share share the app and the app is, is Skype. Say, I want to share Skype. So like That's maybe great. like turn, change, change sharing of the desktop and only share Skype. Why would I change right I have right now if it's working? Okay, well, if it's working, then don't change it. Don't, yeah. don't, break, don't break what's, what, don't break what's not broken. Right, that's what I'm trying to suggest. It's, but, but there's one more test then, and then, then that's it, we're done. The test is I should okay. call somebody else on Skype to make sure we don't get the feedback loop. Because yeah, all, their gonna be are, all their microphones are going to have to be on. Yours can be off. Matter of fact, you're going okay. to, at some point you're going to turn your, okay, so let me, um, uh, buh, 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 buh. let me mute myself. Right, and I gotta add, I'm gonna add somebody if I can find somebody. <laughs> what time is it? Five thirty. Who's online? Okay, we'll try this guy. He should be reasonable to deal with. I'll add. Uh, so how do I add? Oh, there. Let's see if he comes on. We will see in a second. And if he does, we're good. It says he's online, but he must not be on his computer. Oh, there he is. Okay, hey, Greg. Hey, Bruce. How are you? I'm doing okay. Okay. I still so, have that cold, but it's not bad. We're running a test right now, so if you could please, I'm sorry to be so uh, crude, but if you could just talk while we check everything. Danielle, you can hear me. You can shake your head up and down, right? Yeah. Okay, Greg, go yes, ahead. I can hear you. Doing a test. Okay. All right. We're on Facebook Live. One, two, three. I should get my guitar out and the microphone and pretend that I'm back in my rock and roll band. You I was in for six years. You're a rock star. <laughs> junior high school and high school. Now I'm going to add some more noises, so don't worry. Just keep speaking, testing, okay? Okay. Yeah. <coughs> 1965 to 1971, I was playing rock and roll. You are rock and roll. I'm leaving that. Okay. 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 When they come back later. We'll move it around and get it set. Yeah. Show me where to plug it up. Okay. Sounds good, Barb. Um, okay, Daniela, um, I hear Greg perfectly clear, no reverb, and I assume he's on Facebook telling his story right now about his rock star days. But I can't hear you because your microphone's off. Oh, I, do, do you want me to test that out as well? Well, if, if it's on, uh, I, I'm, I can put it back on too here. So I'll do the same thing. Greg, keep going. Okay. We're, we're going to test uh, Facebook, which is 15 seconds out of, you know, delayed. So right. we're almost there, Greg. Just another two minutes. This is really helpful. Making me think that maybe I should remember one of those songs I used to sing by the Doors or yeah, yeah. <laughs> back, back in the day, back when Jim Morrison was still alive and John Lennon and yeah. So yeah. Daniela, have we gone the fifteen seconds yet? Wait, where I'm waiting. I, I... You're still muted. She's talking, but she, her microphone's <laughs> muted. Okay. Sorry. Um... Yeah, it looks like it looks like we're still good. I mean, everything seems good on my end. My Facebook on my screen here is frozen, though. Is your image frozen right now where you're looking at it? Yeah. Okay, maybe it's because I turned it off. Let's turn it on again. We have to wait 15 seconds again. We're almost there, Greg. It, this is really, I can't believe this is actually working. Sometimes the magic works. Yeah, well, we're in, that, we're in that magic zone of nobody's online. <laughs> Tell me when you hear it, Danielle, on your end. Okay, hold on. Let me mute one more time. 
Mine's still frozen. I'm going to re, uh, um, you know, uh, refresh my page. It's slowly coming. I believe it's really slowly coming. There we go. Okay, boy, is it slow? Yeah. I just saw you move your head. We're in your, we're in the stutter mode, is what I'm seeing. Okay. A lot of audio feedback. <laughs> yeah, we're 20 seconds out. Okay, that's fine. That's life. Um, I'm good. I understand what's going on. It's just, it's overloading the uh, system. Right? I just turned off the video for a second. And you're still frozen. And it's also that time of day here. It's 5.30. I'm, it's amazing we have any bandwidth. <laughs> we okay, so. I'm good. Do you, do, you need, do you need me to stay on this Skype or can I get let off me, the Skype? Let me, let me cut off Greg first. And Greg, thank you. We'll call you back later on the picture, picture phone primitive line, okay? Okay, thank you very much. It was very helpful. Yeah, boom. Whoa, Daniela, I lost you on Skype. Yikes. I'm here. No, I know you're here on uh, Leonardo, but are you there on Skype? Yeah, I am here. We're in the same space together. I see yeah, that you're I'm, in I'm here. Waiting. I see we're in here. I don't know how to get back to you on Skype. It's a Skype screen is showing. Oh, okay. There's there's this one. Okay. I, there's this one that says ring the group with you and Greg. Okay. Is that... Is that Okay. I've succeeded. It's all jammed up, but it's working. This is great. Okay. Thank, thank you. Now, okay, so here's the deal. I'm waiting for the stupid thing to stop. That's a long 15 seconds. There. There. I don't know what okay. I'm hearing now. Okay. Oh, I'm hearing. I'm Facebook. muting myself. I know. Here, I was hearing Facebook. That's what was causing all the problems. The Facebook volume, when it's turned on, causes the the, the echo land. You know the Facebook. Okay, so definitely. Okay. So turn that off. I think what. It, yeah. <laughs> so you you're hearing me right now through um through Zoom audio. I turned off my. Skype audio. Okay. And you see me on Skype on because I'm I have two computers up right now. Okay. So you see me on Skype. <coughs> and then um I, I think see myself on that other computer. Yeah. We're there. Don't worry about the Skype now. The Skype works. By Greg's call, that proves it works without feedback. And I will not have okay, great. live on. I mean, at least I won't have the volume on. And so in theory, except for uh, bandwidth issues, this should work, or if somehow Zoom crashes. Okay. So we're, good. we're good, this is very good, thank you. Now the question is, uh, okay. do I just bail if, uh, if in fact, oh, you just sent me your cell phone number. Do I just bail if it crashes and I can't get back on, or I just, uh, I'll go through the prompts you showed me of trying to reshare the screen. But that, the only thing I'm worried okay. about is I have no idea how to activate Facebook Live. But this guy Willard in Thailand, I think, does know how to do all this stuff. Yeah, but um, just he, just he just call monitor. call me. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll try to. I'll, I'm going to leave this on on yeah. this computer. Yeah. And um, just call me. Okay. <laughs> and I'll same try boat. To... If it crashes and burns, you'll probably not hear from me until next week or next year or whatever. You know. <laughs> And if it does work, then you'll see when you walk through the room for some reason, okay? Oh, Bruce. Okay, I hope everything goes 
like exactly how you want, but this is, this is, I've it's never good. done it like this before. Yeah, it's, it, it actually seems to work unless we're missing something. You know, as long as we do the couple little things we said we're supposed to do. So I'm good. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, you know, let me know what happens later. Uh, Willard's going to try to share it to different, you know, people's sp Facebook's pieces. Is there any way you could prompt through your thing, or did you do that already, now that we are live and it's on? Through your site, your prompt? website. Uh, well, the, here, the problem is, is that I shared it. Okay, you know what I could do is that I could stop sharing it live on generative systems. I could share it live on Leonardo's website and then share it into generative systems. Or maybe you could share it. Let me see something. Hold yeah, it, it, as here. long as you don't block us out, we could share it with you. Because I don't know. No I got to see if this works. I got to see if this works. So hold on a second. I got to check something out. There's, there's no way to uh, stop this now, I think, without getting ourselves in trouble. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to um, mess it up. Hold on. Me neither. That's what I'm saying. I'm, <coughs> I think we should leave it alone and uh, I'm going to write Willard right now. Okay, I, I don't want to touch it and mess anything up. We got so far along and yes. I'm, I'm too worried to, 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 to stop and try something different at this point. Yes, you can. You know, you Is can. that fair? That's beyond fair under all the givens and our time constraints and we're, we're, we're way over the limit. And I have to move on too because I don't know what I'm forgetting that I should be doing for the show proper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna log off Skype and I'm going to disconnect my audio. I the computer's running, uh, and everything's live right now. Um, oh, one more question. Call me if you Sorry. need me. Yeah. yeah. Do you think yes. when we turn off your Skype, it doesn't? It, this doesn't make any sense. This question, but let me ask it anyway. When you turn your Skype off, do you think if I called somebody again, I'd have problems? I, I, I shouldn't because they're not in this. It's moving right no, through. No, because really, really the main functionality that, that I'm driving is the Zoom and the Facebook. The Skype for me is not like whether I'm on Skype or not on Skype is no, has no relevance. It's more about you having the host controls of Zoom. That's the most important. And I'm mystified on how the audio is getting to Zoom. That's what's mystifying me right now. Because when Greg called, you said it sounded fine you for your end. It sounded excellent on my end because I was getting his call directly. Well, we both <laughs> were on Skype. Okay, let's just pray it works without you on Skype. How's that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sending you electric energy, electric yes, energy, yes. <laughs> electric energy, electric energy. It's coming through, coming through. Yeah. yeah, lots of lots of love, lots of love, lots of love. Yeah, there's All so this much good love stuff happening. <laughs> I'm just I'm I'm pushing it through, pushing it through. You know, make sure it all works out. Watch, it's watch all this. coming good. <laughs> I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be quiet. <laughs> Okay, and I learned something from you, which I hope works with people tonight. And I learned this. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. Thank you. I got to run. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay um, uh, uh, well, wait a minute. We after all this, we didn't even uh, we didn't even get a little capture. Well, it's too late now, isn't it? No, it isn't. There we get at least at least one. Right. <laughs> right. right. Okay. Bye. Right. And you have you have to you have to write an article about all this stuff. By the way, and. I lived through so, it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Your thing tonight. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Thanks. Good luck, guys. Hi, Greg. Hey. Oh, Greg. I'm so sorry, Greg. Where are you? Uh, join call. Greg. Oops. <laughs> I'm logging off. Yeah, I want to log off. Have fun. I think I hung up on Greg, right. unfortunately. Okay. okay good. All right. All right. I'm logging off. All right. Bye, All right. guys. Okay. How come you're not going? Huh? That's interesting. I think I got to log off here too. Okay. Oh, because yeah, but leave all your audio on. Okay. Remember, hey.
Don't cut off our Zoom. <laughs> Okay, so that's, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
But your image is crystal clear. You're you're a perfect candidate. The best image of the world. Yeah, yeah I, I think that the the thing that I was telling you is if, if I would be here in Paris, it would be great because I have cable here. But if it's gonna be, you said on the eleven. Uh, ten. Ten. If, if I'm gonna be in, in Central Asia, so the connection is not gonna be as good as this. I'm sure. Well, here's the uh, uh, you know, for what it's worth, you mm -hmm. won't be contributed by doing this right now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, that's also a good thing. It's slightly uninteractive, but you'll be there nonetheless in spirit. You know? <laughs> exactly. You know, yes, yeah, this is the big problem. We go through all this baloney, and the band looks like your dad back there. And then it'll just be a nice Well, I think that between you and Mango and Sonia, I don't think it's a problem with you. I think that maybe when you start connecting to the West Coast or things like this, then things may be a little I don't know. It, it's like the, uh, I, I, I've been doing a group of huge EPX files in Russia. That project is a nightmare. It's a nightmare, but it's comparable also. So the EPX files, and I mean, it took forever, all the month, the last two months ago, a whole month, to figure out how to get a whole 10 minute reel. So it takes 27 hours. A really? For how, how much? For 10 minutes? For ten minutes, because of the breakdown, the spacing. Using high, uh, which which program are you using? We're using. Uh, well, this one was fucked up because Dartmouth has set up a Dropbox, a special Dropbox thing. Okay. But the Russians are still using radio FTP, so we've had to move it from FTP to Dartmouth, and Dartmouth to Dropbox, and Dropbox to oh, wow. hard drive. Uh, the good news is that this there's enough systems in place now. If something goes wrong. They pick up where you left off correctly. Mm -hmm. So after all that bullshit, there was one frame that was wrong. Oh, God. But one frame takes 57 seconds. <laughs> so you just got that frame and, and, and yeah, properly. So uh, at what point are you in the, in the project putting together all the digitized? Three oh, yeah. right. Real three. And then boom, just dance the government the other day. <laughs> Which does affect everybody, including the best going. So, yeah, 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 yeah. the Russians. The uh, Russians. No Russians. It's, it's always a surprise. They look beautiful. Well, it's no surprise at all. It's just what kind of surprise, what day, and how drastic they're doing. <laughs> so, three reels of how many? Of 175. And, and there, there is no way to, there is no way to get out. If a heart is sent to you? Well, there could be, but here's the deal, money. It's, 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 you know, it's it's a, it's a, it's a lot of money. So the problem is putting all that money in one truck for one sale, and then Putin changes the government. Even without that, the bureaucracy is horrible. I can lose the money. Yeah. And shipping, there's no shipping except that for DHL. There's no. Yeah. Post office doesn't exist. And then there's the issue of customs. The customs hears about some major group or something. Okay. It's 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 like I mean, you know, you, know, you, you 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 might know some people that are traveling to Moscow. That's how we did the first file. We did exactly like that. It went through, it went through three film festivals. We went from person going to festival to that way. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna be in Moscow in July. Well, hey, maybe, maybe. Well, June's when the festival is, right? The yeah. European Film Festival. Sure, sure. Well, well, this one is the experimental film festival in the beginning of July in Moscow. That'd be wonderful. What well, trying to get there? Try to look for four wheels and, and try to need to go and sit with the actual. Yeah. You, know, you know what I mean? Well, so, so, of course, of course. Um, I had a long talk with the man who used to work there. He was a scientific officer. And now he's the head of the community. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. But he said that it's such a nightmare that Cross Rainbow by now. The mm -hmm. airport directors in the last couple of years, they have nobody that does his job, which is even superior. Mm -hmm. They don't have a period of mm -hmm. And he has one person that knows how to handle digital files, all 600 employees. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's like, so I'm lucky, actually. I don't know. He says, 
said, yeah, that's what's going on last year. We were talking about grading the film in the linear file and the uh, one file. So, wow. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I can see right away. You know, it was it was all the blacks with the brush. You know, it looked good. I thought it was normal. It, it well, it would, it would happen. Next year. Well, he said that in the bigger picture, they have not dealt with the digital storage issue at all. So there's no there's no plan at all. On the other hand, because of the way the modern world is, everybody's saying get rid of the films and we all have digital. Of course. So you have both nightmares running simultaneously. You know. Uh, so I asked him about films like a trade. They used to really think the trade film. And he said, now they don't really care because before it's easy to make plants and get stock and serve very few those stock to become precious, even there. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, it, 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 it's a, the best of times and the worst of times. That's no reason. No? <laughs> that's that's no reason. Right, right. But the film is so beautiful. It's like, I don't I'm still to this day understand why no one ever really saw the value of just the film itself. You know, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. It's just, yeah, I don't know what you want to say. I'm just I'm a long time. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that you are you are I don't know that that's gonna be a good the way that it happened. You know? If I live long enough, I guess there's a couple more people on the left side of your screen here. Yes. Kind of beautiful, the, the drawing, the hand face, the view, and so on. Yeah. I'm sure it's going to be also interesting to see the way that. Uh, but how, how are you going to record? Are you going to record only with, uh, with uh, screen drivers, or are you plan to record the event also in the uh, library? And... Right now, there's a, definitely one camera person for each. Of the three places. Sonia's Arno and the, the, oh. and the library. Yeah. The library might have three or four or five. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Which would be good. Right. Nice, nice. I'm trying to get each person to also record on Skype because I'm, I'm mm. quite the images are different. What I'm seeing, what you're seeing are sort of the same, the different. But, yeah. You know, yeah, but make sure, make sure that somebody that has a good connection from Darwin. Uh, that you heard him and then he takes care of the screen driving properly with a good screen and a good, a good camera driver. Because, like, this you get a, a good quality, like, a screen. You know, it's not the same to record the screen from a telephone or, or an old computer and to do it with a, with a good uh, uh, driver from a big, big screen. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, here's the here's the, here's another side of this. This is the same but different subject. I'm right now trying to deny how to get Sonia to let loose of that new Mac. Hmm. But we'll have to make this stop. And we, we, when we did open the thing with her, I set up the Skype. I did get a, so there is a, a, a separate uh, Skype address for that to be the previous address. Because it has the new connection with a one with the call, you know, with the plug. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the library is. I didn't get that, but I don't know what it is. If someone was going to buy it, but it is a storage. What you were just saying, I was thinking of doing by having another laptop in the room in the desk of this connected to the projector. Right? And that be the one that's recording what you're saying. No, that's exactly that's perfect. But there's the, there's the twist on it. And then this one, what I'm using right now, you, I can walk around the room with and Skype to the other one, like everybody else is. I don't think I can control the screen images like I've been doing from that new computer. I think I can. But the problem is, I know that the minute anybody touches the screen, like if you would now touch your thing to share screens, mm -hmm. it pulls up my thing. And then when I go back, I, I can't do it. But then my question is, uh, what is the best quality of the grabbing of the image? And I think that probably the best grabbing would be to put a real good monitor. And, and probably that monitor will, will get, uh, you know, the best HD uh, material, better than if you do a telephone. I, well, look at this. I don't know if you can see on screen because it's really small. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't open it. But uh, 
this is the screen grab if you like to hear. It's the H264. Yeah, but you see that oh. the current size is 433 in 43. Yeah, this is what matters right here. See how tiny that is? Yeah. That's the thing that matters. And it's yeah. extremely it's like nothing. Yeah. It, it should be for good image, it should be 30. Of course. Yeah. So yeah, but that's why that's why I think that you should have a, uh, maybe like a big monitor. You know, like a, a good monitor from, from the library or something connected to the sky, and then we turn from that so you have a, a proper HD well, 920. No, I, I, okay, okay, so here's one response. This one here, mm -hmm. the time, that was done at part of the, on a 5K. Pass. Yes. Mm -hmm. Same thing. It's the exact same reporting size. Oh really? Yeah. That was that's a brand new one from this year, 2019. But they just installed it. So it's been obviously I'm sure that I'm going to go into uh this is actually I use I use that one that one that one that one that one that one because because now you are know, having this, this screen grab programs that will get the whole uh, space, so it means that the whole uh, and, the, and the quality that will be better. Where'd she go? Since the problem, when I have all the screens running, somebody starts yelling. I don't know who's going to know it. <laughs> Well, it's, it's, uh, it's like having a, a multiple conversation. Well, that's why I like it. Like I said, today, what I've seen so far is the people. Okay, the guy down here. Yeah. It's so cool. That's the case outside. Is this hilarious? No, no. Right, that, he must have been hiding right there. Okay. One more. Yeah, exactly. I thought it was April. It's an April. There's this guy here, there he is there. And there's me. Oh, wow. Can I see you? Wait, well, I can't move the stupid thing. Because uh, I, I couldn't, uh, here, here, now I see you. Oh, wow. I didn't know that I didn't even look at you. I was looking for you, but I was watching that. Yeah, but see this one here, that, that guy that's, uh, this is good. This guy is this guy. Uh-huh. That's me. That's you. Uh, there's something that looks the same, though. And I think it's a lab coat that makes it look the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. I don't know. That's you. That's you. I think it's one, two, one, two. Oh, one, well, two. Each, each room had a mixer. That's how they were selecting the image. Oh, wow. I think that's what that is. The phone company cut us off here, but we run out of time. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Is that funny? Building 
Check where they watch the screen. Uh, man, I don't remember any of this. Oh, wow. I remember it was hot outside. That's all I remember. <laughs> switching, which I still understand what the switching was about besides the, the microphone uh, business. Um, you know, we'll see some of the awesome. 
I don't know if it's It's like, okay, there's one of the cameras across the one There's one going straight across. Right. And that's going to the other side. So, so there are two cameras, there are two cameras at person level, and then one that's shooting down on the table. Did you say that? Is that what you said? No, no, no. What you just saw there was what you call three. Left side of the table, right side of the table, and straight on. But that is that perspective. So you, 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 that's all you've got. But the switching, like I said, I think was happening by voice activation. So there's no rhyme or reason. And then the uh, the balance is related to the old there, there's the over the table camera. Or whatever, Got it. You know, or whatever that was. What do you mean? What do you mean bounce? The bounce in between each trying to change the scenes is of, of the technology at the time. You know, the signal wasn't captured well on the tape, the recording medium at that time. So it everyone, that, 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 like on the port attacks and whatnot. Yeah, great cut. Yeah. So I think that's what all the sounds are. And then that camera on the right, that zoom in across the on the far left of the room was the camera on the tripod. I'm not sure that the kids, if you call ourselves, moved it around at some point or not. You could zoom and rotate, but I think it's on wheels too. You know, like a studio camera of sorts. Yeah. I think that's all. But even when you know that, you see, whenever there's a movement, the camera is right now. Right. Right. So right now, there are two views from the tripod cameras in each room looking across the room. And this woman is at the split the camera. See her up there with the white top on? Um, yeah, sure. I'm not sure if, if she was at the time, and if not at the time, but soon afterwards. I'm just bringing this up because it, it, I don't know how it's going to come out the conversation. She was well, Aldo's wife. I think mean, <coughs> Sarah Dickinson. Well, she came to a really horrible end. Uh, 1996, I believe. And uh, I think it was some kind of illness that, that happened rather quickly. Well, I don't know how it happened, but it was tragic and it, it was the thing that she died. And that sent all go into the, you know, off the charts. Or he, I guess, the bump of the street, basically. Either the streets are insane asylum, I'm not sure which. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until 2000 when Anna, the woman we just spoke to, and the other one, Met up with him and she, I think, I think it was old, she saved him basically. But at this time, this was, they were uh, in this hot romance and she had developed some kind of, I think, I, you don't have to explain it, you probably will. Because she figures into the tape, she wasn't in the class. She came with all of them. And mm -hmm. what her role in this was, which was great, was I had a quarter pack and so I call across the floor and leave the room. Who knows that it was like crawling across the floor? Yes, yes. That was me leaving the room to run to the other space, and then you'll see what happens over there without the understanding. But the point was, we were supposed to, Sarah and I, in the other room, we're going to leave and come back to the space while she performed a mine on the street on Michigan Avenue as we went along. Uh, which was then we played back on a TV that was put on the, on the, uh, on the, uh, Okay, you'll see it now. I'll show that to you. The best part for me of this whole thing is this stupid painting they had on the wall of sculpture. <laughs> it's a little corporate art. Sit. So you're going to play this, right? Yeah. But I'm going to play it like the, I think we're all of us on the screen and having to go to the top of this one. And I am going to do some of it. It's definitely not going to happen. So do you have in, the, in this, in the big pop uh, for each person that you add, will you have a small image of them? Well, I'm hoping that's what happens. I think the screen self relies. And then, at least on my screen here, which you can see, do you see your picture at the bottom moving around? I see, oh, it's, it's up behind everything else, but there's um, 
a small picture of me in the top right, and then there's there's a picture of you. I mean, the one in the oh, hello. Right with me. The one yes, is well. Yeah, you, you can, can hear, hear right? And that's you. I can see you and hear you. Yeah, and you can you hear and see on Facebook whatever's going on. No, nah, that's not too good. It just is a circle on the black uh, screen. I can't see anybody. Oh, I see. I turned it. I thought I turned it off. Uh, let me see. Let me look at that. I knew it was going to circle. No, it's fine. What do you mean? Okay. I'm on Facebook. It keeps changing all the time. Well, now you're on Facebook. I am. You should be. Okay. It's 15 seconds out of whack. I mean, at the worst, with all those things. Hello, Willard. Uh, yeah, I'm here. I'm, yeah. I'm just going to Facebook. And uh, when I go there, uh, all I see is. Uh, you should see you. You see me? Yeah, don't you see yourself? Oh yeah. Uh, that the video. Not, not on my laptop. Only on my phone. No, no, no. I mean on Facebook. Everything's Facebook related now. Well, I'm on Facebook and there's no picture. There should be two pictures. There's. Uh, well, I'm. Well, that's what I'm seeing here on my Facebook. I'm seeing you and I'm seeing the inset and I'm seeing me and a whole bunch of, and your control board. On the floor there. That's from my phone. That's from my phone, isn't it? Yeah, but it's being uh, my desktop is being fed to Zoom, and Zoom is feeding to Facebook. Oh, I see. I don't see. It just says a. Uh, here, show me. My, uh, yeah, show me. Yeah. Here's the screen. Let me see. Can you see it? Uh, no, you have to turn around a little yeah. bit more. It looks like it's black. How about that? Yeah, there. See. That's it. You don't see what you just see. That's what you should be seeing, what you're seeing there. Okay, now why doesn't it move or talk or do something? Well, it is. It's just 15 seconds out of whack. It looks pretty static to me. Okay, well then what, that, what that's about. No, no, no. I can explain that. What's happening is there's so much load going across the bandwidth that it keeps freezing and unfreezing. And whenever I show more of the desktop like I'm doing now, the mirrored windows on the left get worse. But when I hide it, um, it'll go away or lessen. But it takes 15 seconds to, to wait, let me. There, now look at your screen now. It should, you should just see yourself now. I see your door. <laughs> I see your double doors. Yeah, I see now. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I see it on your computer screen. Yeah, but a couple minutes ago, it actually had the image too, didn't it? It did. And the minute I clicked on the arrow to activate, it went return to the last screen. How about just go to your regular uh, feed for gener generative systems and it's for, so it's a smaller view? with all the other, you know, where you scroll, the page where you scroll. No, you want the regular page. Here's a generative systems website. Okay, and scroll down and, it, it, and, and t touch the button for play and just, it should be fine in that size. I'll go back up, let, let, no, no, right there, right there, back, back up, scroll up, right there, and it takes a second to load. It's, it's the bandwidth is what the issue is. Okay. I'm sorry, but the, the bandwidth rules. And audio is up. Yeah, but your audio should be working fine. There's no audio coming out of the laptop. It's only coming out of the phone. Uh, did you turn on on that screen there? You have to turn your volume up. On the go on the on the far right. Yeah, it is up. You should be hearing yourself talking right now. Yeah. Um. All I can say is it's working fine here. <laughs> so it must be the, the getting across the uh, pond is probably causing it some difficulty. Well, that's a pond. 
Willard, we're doing our best. This is, she had to set it up and run, and we're praying it just doesn't blow up more than it obviously is. If I turn everything off, you'd probably get a straight connection like a normal. You know, if I just had our phone call on right now. But I don't want to touch anything because it's just, it's so del it seems delicate. <laughs> but the bandwidth. If I can see you right now, will I be able to see Aldo and Sonia on my phone? Um, yes and no. I, 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 right now, where you're calling right now, I'm overloaded with running the show from this point here, which is operating a lot of things. To add your phone call on would be really hard to do, but later in the evening, if once we get past the meat of the show, like during the uh, talk part, you know, questions, I might be able to do it. The second answer is this. I'm, I'm asking people to bring their other devices with them. So maybe I can hook you up with somebody else's device so that, you know, you'll be on a phone with somebody else and you can then talk to Sonia directly. So where can I see Sonia and Aldo on my phone? Yeah, this is, I, you're, you know, I have three more minutes I can wrap my mind around things that have been taken weeks not to be able to figure out. <laughs> what happened with Zoom? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the point is this, right now we're beyond bandwidth norm with everything that's going on. And we could, I could add you to the Skype list. You have Skype, right? I do. Okay. I can, uh, can you, pro you can find me, I think easy enough on Skype. Right. Yes, right now, you wanna do it while you're on the phone? Or on the computer? Uh, well, to connect first, it's Bruce Posner. And you see my picture up in the corner. I have no idea what my address and number is. It, I, I don't have a number. Do it, do it right now. Do it, do it, do it while you're sitting there. I, so I can walk you through this. Oh, you can do it on your computer though, can't you? I'm, I'm just trying to help you. I'm sorry we didn't do this beforehand. Because <laughs> if you send me a link and I get connected with you, actually, let me try it while you're doing that. I'll just, can I use your email? Is it your email? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sorry you're not getting it all the way through, but we tried. Yeah, that's been everybody's problem. I'm going to download it again. At the worst, you can go online, but then again, the signal will be even worse. Right. Um, actually, because I have Skype running, I can't, I can't micromanage doing this, actually. If you send me a link, I can link back to you, but I can't, I don't trust my abilities. The name of the group is called Picture Phone Primitives, but I have to join you. I don't think you can join me. Okay, you can see, um, yeah, yeah. You can see I'm downloading uh, Skype right now. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I have to run, literally. Um, I'll trust that you'll be able to send me a uh, notice uh, visa Skype and email connected to Skype. Okay. And I'll try to get you linked in. And at the worst, send me your phone number and then I'll, or no, I'll do it through face, I'll do it through Facebook. Yeah, but it might not work. How come our connection for the phone's working so well though? <laughs> I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you perfectly. Yeah, I'm calling you on Messenger. That's why. No, I know, but it should be just as bad as the other stuff. All the other stuff is a train wreck. So, okay, I gotta go. Unfortunately. Okay. Thank you okay. for reaching out and trying. Yes. So you're, it's a good point. It's good. It's there, but it's not. But for reading for signs. No, you can't read the
think the problem is that two of them are I'm too close to it now because it feels all work with it, you know. And then on the other end, I don't want to that at all. I have very little memory. And most of it now is the memory of what's on the page. Like the, the thing went from the one thing to the other and video taking. No memory at all. Except for I remember the time. That's all I remember. Ten lines. And why did I speak? The guy with the white, white sweater on and this thing here, with blonde hair. When we did our call, he started explaining this event that went on with Aldo and Philip and somebody else on the way there, walking up the hallways in the room where Aldo had a meltdown. And the minute Steve came to the I remember the crystal clear. I was part of that group walking up the hall. You know what I'm saying? How do I pay them? Not being in context with well, where other people um, remember the same experience. Yeah. yeah. I think it helps to have some continuity. What's he saying? What's he saying? Yes. I don't know what happened because he went through a bunch of things. He did some of his own work and was the other time for it. He was he was trying to pull it together. Everybody was trying to pull it together in their own ways. Mm -hmm. And it's a complete mishmash. Did I send you that link to um to the very good on vorticism? On what? Vorticism? Yeah. I don't think so. I think I remember that, I think. I'll send that to you. It's called it's um the the name of the piece is spiral perception. That's a video that eventually has something to do with McClellan, doesn't it? Yes, here he does a glitz over on it. Is there a, you know, I'll watch you as a six minute clip, guys, or something longer on it? I think it's a little bit longer, but I'll, I'll send you that link if you want. It's, uh, it, it seems all about this. There's this, um, Yeah, it just it's, it's a lot of bits of information that you, just pulls you in to try and figure out what, what's the, what the um, meaningful connections are. That's the piece with Jerry speaking over a part. The part that I've seen is Jerry speaking. That's right. It does look so, but, but there's a a sound uh, collage in the background going on, and the you know the image um, montage. And, he's, and he goes from Wyndham Lewis talking about vorticism yes. to McLuhan to Buckminster Fuller. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I was, I was hoping there was more because it, it, it seems like it's excerpted from something. Like I, that, I, it clearly is, but I, don't, I haven't figured out what it's from. I, all, um, Terry, I, I said it to Terry McLuhan, and she said it's really surprising that she hadn't seen it before. And this part here is just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. They were really working it. I mean, the, yeah. those are the scarves is the best of all. Really. Yeah. It really is just quite Oh, that definitely. Um, oh, Man Ray. Yeah, so you watch watching this thing. It's making no sense. It's kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. And these two start doing this thing with the scarves. So he, he comes in and out and just really gets. The you know that Man Ray image, that painting? Yes. He uses yeah. that image um, more than once, but. Um, People together who have something, um, you know, closing their heads, like scarves. Yeah, I've, I've never understood the source of that image, but it works. Okay. I, um, I had a neighbor friend um, named Ted Clement. I don't know if you've ever ran into him or not. I think he's a lot of people. And he's the son of James Clement, the, the Harvard president. But he went into media big time. And eventually he made for the film where Canada film about the court. Um, I don't know right now, but I have two copies of it. It's about where you want to go. That court. I've said that one. I don't remember. Who is working in the quiet education of children? I think, see, I'm, I'm 
So it's a nice time capsule. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll yeah. 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 do will. you have it? But I can just hang on the phone. I think it's here, but don't worry. But I can tell you. Yeah, no, it's so much. But so I just think about it. But yeah, it's always for the they, they pretty much put out. Are you connected via yeah. Facebook or email? Yeah, it is. Just be a regular call. It could be a call or like a FaceTime call. FaceTime. Okay, get you guys. I think they're everybody they're has different stuff. Working yeah. surreal. Okay, so I, have a, of this. I will talk to Skype on it. Yeah. Yes and no. I think a lot of us really got to get on that. It's like the next one. <laughs> You're definitely doing some of it though. But it, that's my problem. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, Okay. FaceTime or regular phone? Uh, yep. It should be something different. Yeah, yeah. that's the part. This fellow and then Phil, same old. Um, they made a little book about this afterwards. And in that book, I'll send you a copy. We'll leave the whole thing in the car road. I don't think it got published. Uh, but it talks about some of the suggestions people had in the workshop. Again, like I said, I can get over there. But in the workshop, people had. Bizarre suggestions to take what you just said off the charts. Like, one is like, have two people sit in the bathroom. <laughs> so, yeah, I think the students were pushing the envelopes on out. And all of that is like this. Steve never said a thing the whole time. He's doing something the whole time. He never said a thing. That's just like the first thing from low. Everybody has a few personalities. Sonia has a whole lot of opinions, which I hope she gets into. I have no clue what Sonia's going to do. She's been so mad at me. And I think her hearing is truly so bad that it's going to be a problem. It's isolating. It, well, of course, but what can one do? That's why, you know, it's fun to talk to you. Where would you find your captions? I'll start with you. Yeah, I'm going to start with you. Whoops, we got to the end. Let's find another one. Well, and it's very funny because it's so subtle. Right now, even from the last shot to this one, she had a sweater on or all the sweaters off. And Sonia, he finally got it somehow. I don't know how she got it. She just you know, Huh? It looks surreal. Uh, it was an interesting art, though. Occupation. Uh, the middle. So let me go quick because I, I literally I have to walk the cab to get. Perfect timing. By 1.30. Yeah, and, you know, it's you know, a little close. Um, I'm glad you're coming. I'm thrilled. I love your dog. Is your dog in the background? <laughs> oh, is, you see him lying there on the floor? Yeah. Yeah, he's all disturbed. He woke him up. <laughs> I'm going out for uh, snow. 
snowshoeing and hiking with my wife this morning. So he's, yeah, he's ready to take a nap. He's done. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, because of the, well, because of everything, there's no specific any reason. And um, because of uh, bandwidth and Skype, Two culprits beyond any of the persons involved in this whole thing. Yeah, uh, everything can crack and burn really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still unclear even how many pictures we can get on the screen at a time. I think it's only four, but every once in a while I see pictures pop up where there's five or six. I don't know where they're coming from. If it's like internal, or if it's actually you know when we take the screenshot, or yeah. if it's during the broadcast. Anyway, it doesn't matter at this point. Because the uh, contingencies are this. It's, we finally did a call with Sonia and Kathy and all of the day, which was incredible and everything. Yeah, but Kathy is running around at 100 miles an hour. She seems very proficient in things once she gets there, but you know, there's, there's a lot of things going on in her life too. Yeah. So here's the deal. Um, what I'm trying to do quickly. One is, my understanding of Skype, which is what I've ultimately decided to use for many reasons, is four people will be visible on screen at a time. But all little bubbles, I don't know what you see, how you see me if I'm filling your screen or if I'm a little picture. Fine screen. Okay, okay. There are ways, I mean, in theory, you should be, oh, actually, did I share your screen yet? Well, I didn't share screen. In theory, there should be both of us on the screen right now, but I've not figured this out. All I know is that when I do this, which you're not seeing, you don't see nothing. When I do screen share, the image changes. Now I see myself with a delay. Yeah, and that's probably due to the bandwidth, the delay. Why it's doing that and not showing me, although I should be somewhere in your screen, maybe a little bubble somewhere. Yeah, you're up to the right in, in a bubble. Yeah. In theory, if everything works, this is one of the scenarios we're we'll dealing with, that is the screen share. So that will cause all kinds of problems with bandwidth, slow down, dislocated voice, stuttered image, uh, potentially if everything's blowing up because there's so many, it seems the more people that are on the call and screen you're working, it drains. And it's kind of handle. Um, but the bubbles will be all on screen of everyone who's on the call. So it'll be little. And how will break game, how I think I get this, how they gain screen access is by speaking, <laughs> voice activity, which is exactly how it was in 1977, uh, which was part of the chaos. Was, that was activating the editing and the cameras. So nothing. Son, Sonia wasn't speaking. Right. Well, she she somehow figured it out ahead of time, and she she came prepared that way, right? Um, now, Bob, why? Again, I got a problem before. So there's an initial. Day. So the start of the call. Will be like this. Will it be uh, things going on? Uh, uh, I'm just turning on anything, okay? I'm not even thinking about what I'm turning on. Oh, I don't know I can track it. I can show you anything the other day. Uh, that's a new thing I just made this morning. That doesn't count. Let me turn that off. Um, what do I want to show you? Sonia. There you go. Because this is key to, to what I want to speak with you about. So, the other major technical thing that goes on. Uh, uh, there's a bunch of them, but they're, and they're all major because they all affect how we can do it now. Um, is um, uh, the screen sharing or not? So I, right now you're seeing the square up in the corner, right? Yeah. Okay, so the screen is not the Okay. Notice how uh, what you're seeing here, I don't know what the source of this is. I don't know if it's my video or a video that someone sent me on the call. But the point is, it's different <laughs> than what I was seeing on screen at the time, which I later in this tape. You see how it's it started sure. off to the side? <clears throat> yeah. What they saw for sure was something more like oh. this. And you see how, first of all, all those things is turned vertical as opposed to horizontal. <clears throat> And, uh, Evers, can you get online on your phone? Yeah, so get on Facebook and go to generative systems. Oh, you don't? Okay, well, then you won't. <laughs> that was easy. I've done a call with everybody, like, and what I've 
found is it's okay to move stuff around and change stuff during the yeah. call. You know, we're used to sitting on the front of our computers, like we're going around and stuff. But it doesn't really hurt to move things around. Anna, with all of this, all those horizontal here, but later, is where I need to know. And then later, I put on some of the slides, which is going to be part of their thing. Huh, I forget how to call people. Okay. This shows you about a technical. Yeah. Thing. Oh, here we go. My voice is about the same. Well, we'll just see. I'm going to just throw it out and see what happens. Around. It's mentally, you think the voice is not the same for the picture? The, 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 I think the voice is saying 100%. And it gets into a multiple image thing. Okay. So, hello. Hello. How do I get the image up? Yeah. Hey, Hi. who's this? Marilyn. <laughs> Jesus, you're right. Don't scare me. <laughs> um, Marilyn, I am trying to, I'm doing something right now, which I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Okay, I got you, but I'm trying to find Carlos in Uzbekistan. So just hang in there and we'll okay. slowly um, see if I can find, it doesn't say he's online, but it says Aldo's online. Okay, so we'll come back in a minute. So you dressed up. Yeah, I got, we got lots here. <laughs> <laughs> There's Philip. He's there. All right, hey Philip. Yeah. Philip, everybody. Guess who Philip? She dressed up as you. <laughs> There's Greg. Hello, Greg. I recognize Hello. you. Yeah. I don't recognize the Groucho person. Keep guessing. Oh, Keep guessing. Oh, Marilyn, you're not supposed to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> External oh, to person. Ah, interesting. Well, my screen sharing has stopped for something or other, but uh, I don't know which one. Let me figure it out here. It's Karen. Okay. <laughs> so you guys still there or are you gone? Great. We're right here. Okay. I'm here. I'm not though. <laughs> oh, there I am. I'm hidden. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I got to go. Well, you guys chat while we're waiting for others. And I am have to go screw around with the, the live thing. <laughs> the, okay. It stopped sharing for some reason. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are we sharing with each other? Can you hear us? You should be oh, able to. Us. Hey, you? Anna. Hello. Anna. 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 Anna, Anna can oh, you can hear? Anna. Do you have, do you have, uh -huh. yes, you can do you hear? hear? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's see if it goes back on. It might blow up again. Who knows? Um, okay. I'm not sure what it's doing. Well, we'll just like play it by ear. <laughs> okay. It says it's sharing. Oh, it takes a minute. Okay, yeah, it is sharing. Hot diggity. Okay. But I've lost Skype though now. Oh, well. What's uh, the worst that could happen, well, right? I see four screens and then a cam in the corner. Yeah, yeah. Well, what it's doing is Skype is being fed through uh, Zoom and then Zoom is supposedly feeding to Facebook unless it blew oh, up. There's, there's Aldo. Okay, so yeah, that's good. Aldo, you're looking good. Yeah, yeah. Aldo. Mr. Mark's there too. Jesus. Yeah. Good, but I think I think the uh, Facebook live just blew up. <laughs> but hey, there's, so there's what? weird things going on electronically yeah. today. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're having yeah. to filter them through here too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still yeah. trying to reach Carlos. He's in Uzbekistan, and he supposedly was going to get yeah. up. He's obviously still <laughs> sleeping at five o'clock in the morning. You know, you know what they say in the Second City TV. Come on. You never trust a newspaper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 we'll just pop reference. We'll, that's all. we'll be yeah. So we'll keep it. Whoa! It's getting hot and heavy there. <laughs> Do, um, let's see, I see one, two, three, four. Is there anybody else on right now? No, I guess not, huh? I guess everybody's gonna wait to the last second. So who I knows who, who doesn't know who at this point? I know Aldo and, and Bruce. Okay, and Greg? And I'm Greg. You, Greg, hi Greg. Hi, I'm Philip. Philip, do you remember Ken and I? Ken and <laughs> I, I didn't know it anywhere. I know of Ken. 
That's great. This is I have your book. I have your uh, book, uh, uh, your bread book. Oh, wow. there you go. Ah, send him, so. send him some jelly to come with it, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> peanut butter. Well, okay, peanut butter. Uh, and I'll go ahead and look at me. The gentleman in the bottom left corner. The bottom left is Greg Gunlatch. He lives up in Thetford, thereabouts here, and his father was uh, an inventor of sorts. You want to say him, Greg? You want to? Yeah, my dad uh, was an inventor at Xerox, um, responsible for a lot of the development of the copiers. He was there from 1950 uh, until his retirement at age 68. And um, Craig Goldman brought him into the program. And then by 1979, I joined and uh, studied with Sonia. So I'm after a lot of you really knew. Uh -huh. But, but you were in yeah, the technology now, ground zero. Yeah, I was, I, I worked with Xerox machines in the basement and I was playing with them myself from when I was a kid. Wow. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's great. And, um, so you, you look you look good and, and that's a great of your father. We should bring in the ancestors. You know what we should do? We should bring in the ancestors and thank them. Thank yeah, each of us, right. name an ancestor. You like yeah. When we well, introduce it. Yeah, remember I'm gonna be sitting right here. I mean you're, you're my dad, right? right? I got a nice bald spot. But I mean yeah. Yeah, that's a marvelous beginning. And can all all do you hear us? Or, you guys, yeah, we can. can I don't think all of you this, but um, so so we look like we look like Ken. <laughs> I don't know, you and Ken look like brothers. I don't know, so, so, but 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 um, did you work? What did you do? And how did you take this trajectory later? Bruce? Start with me or with all of yeah. Okay, there's Bruce. I'm chasing, I'm chasing people around. Okay, there's Bruce. Yeah. Two Bruce's? No. Uh, wait a minute, I gotta, I gotta check that one Bruce. Where's the other Bruce? I got this response. The link you followed may have expired or changed or maybe. There's Sonia. Ah, there's Sonia. Hello, Sonia. Okay, good. I was just calling you, Catherine. So that's good. Uh, I gotta find Christine. Let me turn this thing off. I don't know what you don't see and see. So hello, Sonia. Live from Kendall. <laughs> That's like a joke, right? <laughs> okay, Chris, Sonia, Aldo, and, um, and forgive the, the guy with the award for the best hat. The best um, hat. Philip. Philip, okay, Philip, all right. Thank what? you. And I'm trying to find some other people. So excuse me while you, two, you all chat while we're getting closer to the witching hour. Uh, Carlos is not, okay, he's X'd out, so he's having a problem. Christine says something's with her link. Sorry, I'm mumbling to myself, because that's the best I can do. Uh, I want to trade hats with Philip. That's what I want to do. I have a whole story about my hat. Okay. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Carlin, Carlos, and Carlos. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's based on a Frank Lloyd Wright stained glass window. Uh, yeah, nice. I can see the resemblance. Yes, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's marvelous. Yeah. That really is. Hey, hey. Yeah. I'm, I'm quite We're interested. slowly I mean, getting there. Oh, look at that, the top of it. That's very nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great. It's like what, night and day. It's like a. Um, it's much nicer than rhythm. looking at my bald head. <laughs> it's a circadian yeah. rhythm. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you're, it's like a magician. You don't need to talk about what's invisible. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. You got to like deliver your best and let the keep the mystery. Keep the mystery. <laughs> yeah, keep the mystery here. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mystery if this okay. is going to work. Oh, there's Ed. Okay, good. There. Ed. Hello, Ed. Hello, everyone. Hey, Ed. Yeah. 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 He's, Red. Oh, Sonia and Ed are in red. So somebody's gonna oh. somebody's gonna mess with that tonight for sure. <laughs> yeah, Philip. And Philip's in the black. Yes, Philip's in the black, <laughs> and Greg is blue. So we got red, black, and blue. And Bruce is in blue. Oh, yes, I am. You're right. 
I the there's like there's a few other people still. Hear us. Yes. So yeah. Sonia. Oh, Sonia. Yeah. 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 Uh, where you're sitting? Okay. You want to hold her? Okay. I see something is mouth moving, but I don't hear her. Yeah, I'm waiting for Kathy to respond. Kathy? I think I just heard Sonia. No. We don't hear your sound. Yeah. Maybe turn it up. Yeah, how about that? Yeah. Whoa. Mark Williams can hear you in the back row. <laughs> <laughs> So, I think I was trying to figure out how to mute it during the other part of the program and I accidentally muted it. It sounds good to me. Keep going. We're getting there. We're still we're still missing a few people. Um, Can hear you. Yes. Can you hear me? I'm hearing somebody's stuff, but I don't know who. What? Somebody, somebody has FaceTime on, and they should turn uh, Facebook on, and they should turn it off. One of you is watching. Hi, Stephen. There's Stephen. Uh, okay. Somebody has Facebook on. It needs to go off. That's what's causing the noise right now here. Well, whoever's watching Face uh, Facebook. Just, you have to turn it off. No, I'm on Skype. No, no, I understand, but somebody out there is on uh, on uh, FaceTime. Hey, Christy. Peter? Well, we'll shut the door in a minute. Just let's get the... I don't understand. Is that better? Yes, whoever turned it off, that's great. That's much better. Okay. 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 Oh, Philip's looking good. Yeah, I see Bruce. And I see Donald. Oh, no, the camera's more towards the ceiling. Um, hmm. Can you put. Hmm. Can you not hold it over there, but now he's just a there. there. That's good. Oh, there he is up there. So mm -hmm. wow. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. And we're right on time. You're all very good. Carlos seems cut off. He must have slept in. And John is oddly not here. Maryland, John Alkins, and Karana. There we go. And never could figure out who that guy was. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, is that Sonny and Aldo? Shana. Anna, I see Anna. Oh, yeah. You find somewhere? Okay. Yeah, hi. Hi, Sonia. Hello, Marilyn. Hi. Who else are we missing? Hi. Christine. I can see you. I like your hat. Thank you. Yeah, I like your hat. Thank you. And um, yeah. we, have a, we, have a, we have a darling. Anna, you're moving your lips. Can I hear you? Anna, is I, it, 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 I hear everything. Anna, is your microphone on? Anna, we can't hear Anna right now. Okay, I think I think there's I think it's muted. Do you want to come on? And then John maybe is help? unavailable. Okay. Okay. How's your chihuahua? What's the name of your chihuahua? Yeah, right. That is it. It, it is a chihuahua. And his <laughs> name is Puddles. Oh, 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 oh. I see. I see the chihuahua. Oh, and. Oh, how nice. That's better. Now I can see it. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of puppies. Let me interrupt for a minute. I need to, I need to, ah, oh, there we go. Greg has his puppy. Okay. I, I have to interrupt. We're not hearing Anna and Aldo. We're not hearing Anna at all. It's, can you speak up, Anna? It's dead silent now. Yes. I'm not hearing anything. Anna. We'll be ready to go as soon as we get Anna on, on up yeah. on sound here. Anna, there's a little microphone that is muted. 
on Anna's picture, so she does have her microphone on mute. Yes, your microphone is off. We're ready. We're going to change things around. It's going to be just fluid. Um, how do I record? Um, to touch your screen, your Skype screen. Yeah. And there's three dots on the far right corner. Yeah. Touch that and it says start recording. Like I just started. So you can go do it too. Okay. Everybody else can okay, do it too I'll if you start. like. Okay, I'll start recording. This is better. Yes, you're on. We got you back. We're going to start now. That's good. Um, okay. I'm just taking it out because when I'm going to talk to you, he does not see himself in a square picture. But you see him in a square picture, correct? Yes. 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 A moment ago, a moment ago, I saw all those. So, so, now I see Anna. All that, so, 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 so. It is. Yes. It is constantly. It is constantly I changing. Yeah. I see a white picture. I see it. And and I see him. You want me to see him? Because that can be whatever you like, and it can change. It's all all good. Oh, there's Carlos. Carlos is there. Carlos is there. Where's Aldo? Focus on Aldo, so I can say hello. I almost saw a nose. Yeah. Okay. Can we see a nose? The conversation is too generated already. It's great. That's I this is the technology. Okay. No, but sky. I see something and I see myself. You see yourself in a little picture. Here you are. Anna, we're, we're, Anna, do me a favor. Turn your tablet sideways. Okay, here we Turn go. your phone sideways. Okay, I got it. Yeah. We got it. Okay. Keep I going. Anna sideways. Yeah. There you go. Okay, good. Yeah, and we got oh, Carlos oh, online. I, I, I see you Carlos's. Now you know. Good. Now your face is in. Okay, here we here we here we go, everybody. Silence is golden. <laughs> hey, Aldo. Okay, Kathy, we got to start. I see it. Okay. Everybody's got to back off for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay. Welcome to the picture phone primitives. <laughs> Help him out, Anna. We'll give him a second. Aldo, you won't miss anything when I'm speaking. Trust me. <laughs> Everybody here knows that. Um, this is an incredible evening for all of us. Uh, most of the people on the screen have not seen each other, talked with each other for 43 years. Um, I'll explain later in the program how this came to be. But right now, we're going to have Kathy Hart from the Hood Museum of Art, who's a very close friend of Sonia Sheridan's, one of our honored legends tonight, living legend. You made it, dear. Uh, introduce her. And then I'm going to do a, a, a little introduction, and then we'll go into the show. So, Kathy, it's yours. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to move it for a while. Casey, you mind? Okay, Casey. You're missing Sonia for a little bit, but... You get to hear me talk. Um, greetings to everyone. Uh, as uh, Bruce mentioned, I'm Kathy Hart, and I'm from the Hood Museum of Art at Dartmouth College. There is nowhere I would rather be uh, right now than sitting next to Sonia Lynn Sheridan. We are in Hanover, New Hampshire, and we encourage all of our New Hampshire neighbors to get out and vote tomorrow. Um, as many of you know, Sonia is a remarkable human being. Her work as an artist reflects her multifaceted nature, bringing together the curiosity of the, of the scientist, the creativity of the artist, and the soul of the poet. Her past work, as you may know, mainly resides in the collections of the Langlois Foundation in Montreal and the Hood Museum here in Hanover. I am representing the Hood for this evening's event. Sonia's legacy as the founder of the program Generative Systems at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago 
and as a pioneering art and technology artist continues to flourish. Many of her former students are on this call and we will have the opportunity to act, we interact with her and her brother artist and friend, Aldo Candelini. Sonia wrote to me just recently in preparation for this event. She wrote, quote, if we are to retain what is to be human when using recent technology, it is absolutely essential to keep an expansion of our body, such as the hand attached to living things. I see dark as essential to the beginning of birth, but light as essential to emerging life. It all has to do with how to retain the complexity of life." End quote. So with, with that, I turn things back over to you, Bruce. Uh, and we both look forward to this evening's redo of the 1977 picture phone event. Well, thank, you. thank you very much. Uh, everybody, let's say hello to Kathy and Sonia. I mean, they're, they could probably hear this a little bit. Yes? Yeah. Okay, so um, now we move on to the visual part of the program. If everybody, uh, we'll see, we'll see you all in about thirty-six minutes. You may, yes, you may watch or you may go away, but uh, come back in thirty-six minutes. Okay. Look at that. And like delayed. All right. Speech, How did you do delayed image. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and when you get other people on the call, it's going to be even more so because Skype will only show four screens at a time. Yeah. Okay. Which means everybody will be the little bubbles. I know you have little circles on your screen at the top or bottom. You are a circle. If I'm moving my circle. Yeah. You're a circle. I'm still, Kathy's still. Yes. I'll know it's everything I think. No, but what about the open and mouth and the rest of the hand? He's good. He's trying to see how the rest of the hand is looking over there. Yes. I think so. There's Santa. When you have, we have to call. At least Tana will be able to call. Yes. People are going to disappear visually. But they'll okay. still be on the call. That's right. And I'm the way it works is just yeah. like, unfortunately, 1977 picture phone. And more than that. So if you have to have time, you speak up, and then your picture will pop up. You can't do that right now. But with four people on the line, you can chat each other. So very confused. I don't know. It'll be almost like the pictures. Very confused. Anna, can you mute your mic, please? But it's because they're showing something. Can you hear me? Yes. Your finger. So, um, um, Bruce is um. Doing something visually at the event. Yeah, and we can't we can't hear you. You need to mute your mic, please. Please mute mute your mic, please. So thank you. Uh, what I have is that um there will be intros to the beautiful and the and then a video will play on the screen at how for about 20 minutes. Is that correct? I, I don't remember. <laughs> but yeah, it's okay. It's what it says, what you sent me. Um, then there is the lot of all the Sonia conversation from the script with slide showing on screen of how. And um, this, this is the script. Make sure we're reading the same paper. Uh, okay, that's not the right paper. Thank you. <laughs> um, do you have okay, because this is what you had sent me in an email, so that's what I had. Your latest email, the order business. So could you maybe send a new one? Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, and then I'm searching for 
30 minutes, lose the screening of video for the audience. So you can't talk as the voice I want to talk, but I have to know my dad. He's, he's, he's showing the video and he's doing the screening. I'm trying to do it. Because it's so hard. He's doing the audience. He's doing the audience and he's showing the video. Uh, Anna, can you hear me? Yes. Would you mind muting your mic, please? Because it, it, I don't have any other way to control it here. And, and the, we're having like a competition for the film. And, and... Oh, sorry about that. I'm sorry that you're hearing this conversation. No, no, no. It's good to hear. And it's, it, it fits the yes. event. But <laughs> no, it fits the event. But, but we still have a little bit of business to run through. So um, yeah. muting will be so. great. Okay. I, I have to go. Okay. Just remind me, okay? Yeah, we'll jump up and down. It'll be about 12, 20, 30, 30 minutes from now. Great, thank you. Okay. We're off uh, matching situation with situation. Then uh, search for abstract form, for the language of forms. Well, to give uh, the visual form, the uh, non-visual involving appearance is, is, a, is a considerable artistic feat. These kids were beginning to uh, uh, understand that uh, by simply following auditory instructions for visual situations. And the translation from one medium into another awakened their sensory life in a completely new way. I was quite surprised. Well, we've had here at Close Academy at Andover for a number of years a program whereby all the students are expected to have an experience of what we used to call art, but we are tending now to call visual uh, perception. The idea being that so many people, so many citizens are uh, virtually illiterate as far as the eye is concerned, although they may be quite proficient, quite erudite in matters of communication by the accepted academic means. So from the standpoint of education, we feel it's extremely important to train the perceptiveness through the eye of every citizen. Uh, specifically, uh, this is done not only in terms of drawing or work with uh, three dimensions, but also we find that the camera and the photographic medium apart from the camera is of considerable use because it um, provides a very quick way in which uh, a student can observe and through observing discover relationships which are not so easily come by in terms of drawing alone. I don't want to take up much time introducing this film. It's quite short, but even so the time is more useful when we have seen it. Let's ask it afterwards. Well, the point is, however, that you've been working with photographs downstairs and have discovered that the photograph is not quite the same as working with a true camera. It's a different kind of reality. In the same way, what you're about to see by Norman McLaren, you can relate, if you wish, to the work that you've been doing in the studio drawing, or the work that you've been doing down in the dark room with photography, especially with regard to the photographs that you've been working with, being as distinguished from the reality of the true camera. Let's look at the film and we can talk about it later.
for centuries, the only kind of uh, skill or grammar or literacy that was taught was that connected with the writing and uh, reading and writing itself. All the other uh, skills and technologies of the environment were accepted as merely environmental and taken for granted. Today, we have, uh, because these things have stepped up in many of their developments, many of their manifestations, we have to understand the language and grammars of many media. And uh, this, it, it, it is rather, rather fantastic, isn't it? When you think of the number of hours that people spend in front of film or television, or to know nothing about the processes of making these, these things, or, or nothing about the means available for themselves to express themselves. So the grammars of medium has become, uh, have, uh, this, this area has become a, a new area of stress and education. Chinese, Japanese art forms. Uh, this um, is a tremendous discovery for the children, obviously, in the, in the potential of a uh, form right in, in their own hands. I like seeing oneself in print, I like uh, writing poems and seeing them published. I'm really <laughs> thrilled that uh, the OK More children get in seeing themselves and learning to read and write by actually publishing themselves as they go uh, by typing. But uh, the McLaren Worlders makes a tremendous break with ordinary film in this way that by painting directly onto the film, you make the audience, as it were, the screen, instead of making the audience the camera eye. And so the child then, by drawing directly on the film, has a sense of mastery over the whole, whole world. It's like a composer writing a melody. He makes a world. The composer making a melody doesn't try to make a world that corresponds to some other world. He just etches or makes with sound a world. McLaren, when he draws directly on the film, makes a world. He, he isn't photographing a situation which corresponds to some other situation. So this switch from matching to making is a drastic one in the learning, in terms of the learning process. It, it, it switches altogether again from classified data, from mere uh, matching knowledge to a world of actual discovery and actual knowing of forms. I, I think that you couldn't find a, a larger uh, a switch over in the whole history of education. I think that um, in developing new techniques for developing visual literacy, that is a sense of form and texture uh, a sense of the concreteness of things experienced in a sensitive way is one of the most essential parts of anyone's education for which present very little has been done except a few experimental centers. Hello? Hello? A film which can present familiar objects. 
in entirely new ways can, by showing material in perspective that we do not ordinarily see it, it helps free us from the provincialism of whatever perspective has, has become habitual with us. It isn't only a matter of being presented with uh, interesting perceptual effects, but it's also a matter of putting the learner in the position of creating new effects himself. And the special importance of photography is not only having professional photographers and artists working together to present new sensory experiences, but to have the learner use photographic equipment and keep a running record, as it were, of his own attempts to shape and form material in interesting, exciting new ways. The film uh, program at the Conference Center is uh, made up of uh, two equal parts. Uh, one is in animation, which is uh, where it was interested now, obviously. And uh, all of this looks like a monstrously complex being with something that seems to act uh, very simple. Uh, once the uh, elements of its design are understood, what it permits really is the animation of uh, two dimensional and three dimensional objects. And we hope that in a way the understand will coordinate the activities of the center by making it possible for people working into I just took my hands on the to uh, put their objects into uh, motion. The other part is not an orthodox film a school curriculum. It's a attempt really to introduce people to the idea of film as a way of seeing things around them. And uh, what we do is to work in eight millimeter in the uh, initial course. And they're given specific assignments each week. They're given a different kind of assignment, which is meant to introduce them to one facet of the power of film. Let's say slow motion or animated. Okay, here we go. Uh, one of the uh, things that uh, I want to show you is the work done by a student who is continuing his experiment from last term in a special project in the animation of clay. This is with a simple camera. Uh, the idea of the working with from the center is the same as the sales. So, yeah, for most of those ideas of series of the working with the sculpture uh, is to yeah, give yeah. them a new way of. No, I can't hear you. Is to give them an opening on uh, their environment, which they didn't have before. This thing should have been all the uh, possibility of it being uh, television executives or even television directors is probably not as good as of them becoming poets or bankers when they leave Harvard, actually. But I think that once having taken these kinds of courses where they are given a chance to, to see in a new way, that they will be more at least visual bankers than they were before. If they're going to go to a bank building, maybe it's going to be a good looking bank building instead of a, a bad looking. Presumably, people tend to know least about the things they're most uh, imposed upon uh, by. Uh, the, uh, there seems to be a mechanism of uh, protective inhibition, so that people automatically seal off the areas where experience is maximal. They seem to know least about the areas that they are most involved in experientially. That is why perhaps this uh, world of the um, uh, garment center is so uh, exciting to a uh, highly literate and highly uh, retinally and visually oriented population. It's giving them back their other senses through the uh, through the, a certain use of the visual sense, yeah, through a very tactual and uh, low resolution use of the visual. They suddenly people uh, get people involved with their other senses in this world, and they begin to sense uh, what is called plastic form again. Uh, the, of course, it is a kind of primitivism. It is like a rediscovery of primitive values of the unsophisticated, the unprepared environment, the non-technological world. This kind of thing tends to go along with a great deal of sentimental uh, uh, overvaluation, perhaps, and a, a great deal of uh, romanticizing of the primitive. Uh, this uh, goes along with the kind of glorification of the primitive world of childhood, so on, which is a natural reaction against a highly mechanized environment. Anna, totally silent, so. This will be where Sonia and Aldo's art is, is, is given some credit here.
Uh, 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 he was busy feeding his face, feeding his face, that is, into a copy machine, turning out a portrait only a mother can love. Art is everywhere. You just have to know how to look for it. At the new school of the Chicago Art Institute that was formally dedicated today, there is something called the Generative Systems Department. The school will be open to the public this weekend, including this department, which looks like a cross between an office and an art studio. Various types of copying machines are used to create works of art. The works have a surreal technicality about them. Copying machines usually are identified with standardization, but here they turn out one-of-a-kind objects, which then can be reproduced with hundreds of variations. It is strange to say the least. Artist and instructor Sonia Sheridan showed me some applications of generative art and fabrics. A simple child's visual toy that produces abstract shapes different than the previous one, and the copies are transferred to gold lame fabric, giving it a shimmering fluid quality. Other fabrics were adorned with copies of people's faces, repeated over and over again. You become the art. Just put your face on a copying machine and press the button. Well, I'm not going to tell a word of art. My face is going to be put on the machine here in the image. After you get the finished copy with all its ethereal color variations, you can transfer it to fabric, in this case a t-shirt, or you can just mount it and hang it on the wall. Not only do you have me coming, but you have me going too. This is all about us becoming a work of art at the School of the Art Institute for Channel 2 News. It's what I'm selling from my side, Anna. Well, so far. Also, as you about with someone else of the place that the program is over. Post the screen and read it to the audience, okay? So far, I have not participated at all, I know. Pardon No, I was supposed to say something, I know. Pardon
Which translates the image of my hand to a tape recording machine, which scrambled the image of my hand incomprehensibly. This is the image my hand drew that placed before the transmission machine, which translated the image of my hand to a tape recording machine, which scrambled the image of my hand incomprehensibly. Until I looked at the image my hand drew and cut up the sound tape image of my hand and taped it together to reveal the signal of the image of my hand drew. You can see you learn the system for your discussion if you use your hand or own tool. Somehow you begin to understand what seems to be a technological, you know, feats of a complex tool, and they're really rather basically simple. I'm not saying you have to invent the trend, it's very simple. I'm not saying that to invent the first bit for them here is a simple thing, and not for me it would be that it would be a very complex process. But once you actually see these bits and pieces put together and equipped in a machinery, those, those pieces of hardware, those body are just hiding, well, they're just a few inventions that human beings have made, but they've added on to other inventions. And that's why. As I say, if you pull apart a piece of equipment and begin to think about the cloud and the iron oxide, you grow way far on cave imaging. And you wonder why men just first put their hands you know, on the wall. A lot of the systems have been What they have all most important things um, that they have in common uh, is so far that I haven't seen that they have brought back to the end. So this is what this is. Well, was it not that very much? Yes, but I believe it. 
You know, I don't like to say something. I don't know what to say. You're adjusting huh? magnetic energy to that moment. Okay. And you see, of course, is here shown in the very same system. And this time, um, when they finish, remember, you should find out the show. Yeah, well, that's why I don't think it's supposed to be the one participating on it. No, you're participating. I'm supposed to be participating. And I want them to understand that I cannot understand what they're saying. Listen to me, God, please. And say it's a good thing. I would like to know when I get participating. Okay? So, incredibly. Because otherwise, I'm going to sit over there. I don't understand what's going on. I know what she's doing. I'm not going to say but. Why am I here? Are you supposed to be the one? Or am I supposed to want? So many of us have blind I have said a word. And find that in order to keep some I haven't said a word. That's not the I know, but then it should have made it clear on that. I mean. Don't have to follow when the prophet shot or something. Uh -huh. Seems to me Why we must ask whether this system is right and appropriate, that system is right and appropriate, whether it's going to happen, will happen, or won't happen, seems to me rather irrelevant. If it's fair to discover it, then discover it. It is there to follow that silence. It is there to think about and think about it. It is there to unfold and unfold. Tambolini was one of the first artists to work in the East Village. He is soon to open a show utilizing videotape. He calls it a micro explosion and plans to surround his audience with TV procedures in total darkness. <laughs>
Tabellinis Auseinandersetzung mit Multimedia begann mit dem Fund einiger Dias. Instinktiv besprühte er sie mit schwarzer Farbe, zerkratzte und durchbohrte sie mit Nadeln. Als er sie auf einer Häuserfront projizierte, stellte er Ähnlichkeiten zu seinen Gemälden fest. Daraufhin begann er Glasdias zu bemalen und nannte diese Numagramme. Tabellini sah in diesem Vorgang eine Erweiterung der Malerei. Tambellini begann am MIT eine einzigartige Untersuchung der Videosphäre. Er erarbeitete künstlerische Ausdrucksformen und entwickelte neue Formen der Kommunikation. Zum Beispiel arbeitete er an einer frühen Form des Bildtelefons mit. So the first time I did the, the uh, performance was at, at Columbia University and it was called Black. It was uh, two poets and one dancer and myself to the projection. I made black several times, and each time it was a change into it. It was like a work in progress. Then little by little uh, became black uh, zero. Progressively became more involved with media. Uh, the last time I added television to it, which was not in the beginning of the obviously. A million psychoanalysts shall drop dead, and you will be caught eating your meat in the black Maria of ozone. When I write poetry, it's very, it's very political because that's the life we all have in America. But when I do paint, I think I'm like in space, and where there are also all around force and black. <laughs> I was in New York, we had a, a movie theater where we show uh, seven days a week experimental film. 
We used to call it underground. They had a platform that are painted black, and I called that a black gate. We had the show by Manjun Pike and Chamamana. We had a show there by Kusama, which not became very well known. Uh, we used to project on the wall around, and the people sat on the floor like we did last night. So they were kind of surrounded by things itself. In other words, he wanted, he wanted the audience to be, to be part of it as much as you can, even, even when the city is in play. I never had an audience as big as this one last night. Last night, it must be like 400 people on this. I said, a lot of this should have happened a long, long time ago. Not as easy as it should have Okay. Thank you all for getting through that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, we can boot up if anybody can hear me here. Is, uh, is that all happening? Uh, let's okay. vis uh, verbally say something so we'll hear, hear you. Um, go ahead. Just everybody Hello. say something. Good, hear they you. Hear you. That's not me. Steven? Yes. Okay, good, good, good. So, um, Kathy, do you want to introduce this next part so we can move into the uh, script, please? Um, you mean to introduce the, uh, the script itself? Yes. About Aldo? Yes. Oh, um, okay, so Aldo and uh, Sonia have been speaking back and forth over a period of time in preparation for this event. And uh, what we have here is a recreation of some of that communication. Is there anything you'd like to add before we start, Bruce? Uh, I just need to get the pictures up. <laughs> okay. Okay, you do that. Um, you do that. So um, uh, this is sort of a, this is a type of conversation which is going to be recreated. Um, Bruce is going to read some things, and then Sonia and I'll go as well. Uh, of their e mostly email communications. Can everyone see the screen share that's going on? I'm not sure what I'm sending out at this point. Can you see that what I'm diddling around with right now? Um, we can't, I, you know, I can't, um, uh, Bruce. Uh, before I could see it when it was just the, the three of us, but now I'm not seeing it. Okay, so let me, this, this is... Um, not coming up right, but let me let me see if I can get the screen share happening. You just you just sent up a screenshot of our former a former conversations. Yeah. Okay. So let me see if we can get this. Can we turn the sound down a little bit? That should help. Yes. Is that better? Can you see the screen now? What's your name? Uh, yeah, I see, I see your computer screen with a lot of lists of things. Okay. So, oh, yeah, that. Okay, so uh, if you want to uh, get them started uh, on the script, this is a... Okay, a, a, a you even, actually, yeah. you are the first person you read through. Oh, okay. Well, let me get some light. you read your section? I need some light here. Okay. I have to put it here because they're talking. Everybody's talking. Um, Bruce, you want me to read your section? Uh, one second. You're the first one on. Right, but uh, Anna, are you ready to? No, now I have the speaker off. Can you hear me? No, you have no, the you, can, you have the speaker can, on. We can hear you. Wait a minute. Do you hear us? Your speaker is on, Anna. I can hear you. Okay. Anna, we can hear right, you. Now, now okay. Okay. So, so I'm first, right? Here. Oh well, this you doesn't this, this doesn't count, does it? Me being first. How's this work out? <laughs> Fearless leader. Okay, here we go. Uh, Wait, Bruce, can you give me a chance, please? Yep. Because I'm going around the room here. Sure. Very tight. Just a second, please. Okay. And there's Sonia. I see the beautiful hand. Yeah. Aldo and is, is Aldo ready now? Aldo, you're on, finally. <laughs> okay, Aldo's on. There he is. Okay, Aldo's ready. Okay, the, so the, the, the image you're looking at is uh, uh, an image made and transmitted. Can well, I just explain something to Aldo? Sure. You have earbuds, then I can't hear what's going on, and I can't help you. Okay, so listen to what they're saying, okay? Okay. All right, 
So you want us to read the email that we wrote? Well, and then also would like would like to ask would like to have a chance to ask Sonia something. As part of the okay. script, there are two spots for that to happen. Okay, so I'm good with it. So okay. before we start, one more technical question. Should I just yeah. put up the PDF that has the script so you can read it as along off screen? No, I've got it right here, right? I have the script. But you can't hear is what you're telling me. Is that correct? No, I can hear you. Okay, so here we go. The image you're looking at was made and transmitted via facsimile during the 1977 Chicago Picture Phone event. Shows Aldo's hand and Sonia's hand overlapping in time at 2.42 p.m. Um, and Bruce, you were gonna read the date for each one, right? And then so you would go. Believe it or not, I can't find the script. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute, wait I, I, I will do that then. September 19th, 2019. Yes, I got oh, it. Sure. Go oh, ahead. I have a point in the in Kendall. I now know that the 2020 Oral and Sunday being professionally broadcast locally will be about broadcasting what it is to be human. Although definitely is a perfect example of a most creative male. Yes, male, capital M-A-L-E. And Sonia in her brown books, The Pen and Brush is a fine example of what it is to be a creative female, capital F-E, capital M, capital A, capital L, capital E. Both Aldo and Sonia have left large visual and poetry records of their life experience in foundations, museums, on the internet, and in other generations. That means in all of our lifetime, we are in balance in the middle, yet stretching from negative to positive. Love, Sonia. Wonderful. Number number eight, Sonia and reads. And there's that picture, and Bruce now reads. No, it's number actually eight. your turn again, Sonia. Number eight. Sonia. Okay, only now I have to get three hours sleep for this night. You may begin to understand the physical dimensions. The mind alone is keeping me alive and happy. I wish I did not have to sleep. It's such a waste of time. Night time is my time, and I'm told that I must sleep, but I have no time for that. 17 hugs. That's a university experiment with the number of hugs necessary to add the additional aspect of hugging to the brain, Sonia. Very good, Sonia. Thank you. Number nine, Sonia again. Dear Aldo, I forgot to tell you that for a conversation, I will probably miss most of what you say. My hearing is very bad. I would need large letter signs or make fools of us. Also, nurses keep randomly coming in and out of my room. That cannot be altered. I then miss them. Not a good idea. Uh, for they treat me in important ways. Love, Sonia. Wonderful. Aldo, number 10, Aldo, November 16th. Just a moment. Okay. Just one moment. Okay. As you all can see, it took a great deal of juggling to make all this happen. So okay. please be patient. Er. And this is literally the first time after months of doing this, I've heard all this speak. Okay. So it's an accomplishment right there. Sonia, you're doing great. Thank you. Okay, this is November 16th. Yes. They say hello, Sonia. I can understand because I have a problem right now. All right? From the hospital, if I have been here for a week, you I don't know how much longer. Maybe we can figure out to write the series of conversation of what we have published from two friends, <laughs> collaborator, artist, and innovator. Maybe. We will collaborate on a major project somewhere in space where we meet 
again in the world is entered on the top. Now, um, I, will, I would like to say something because I've been here without any word and I'm only here about to have the medication with that. So, yeah. so, I would like to say that, first of all, that uh, in, in the system for the way, Sarah uh, Dickinson, uh, who is a man, he went outside of the space that he was in during the digital form, and she started to do mine, since she was doing mine herself. And somebody was taking her in different parts of Chicago where, where she was doing the mine. And she came in, in one of the spaces and showed the baby of her doing what she was doing outside. The very same time she was going on inside of the digital form. Now, I would like to say to Sonia, when she said that question, what is the I'm, I'm right here, Aldo. Pardon? I'm here. Yeah, because at that time she said, what is it like to be human? And that is the question which is even more difficult today to, to answer. Because today, the, the technology uh, has grown up much more complicated and much more difficult. For instance, discussing from the time of this future from to today, I would say that the trees of robots themselves, which are becoming more and more like humans. No need to unlock. Well, and oh. yes, it has become complicated. Yes, although. Yes, the robots are going to become taking over a lot of the job for the working class today. And they, yeah. they expect to the extent that also in MIT, they have artificial intelligence and, and they will be able to give artificial intelligence to robots. As a matter of fact, uh, recently they've been able to create a human brain, which is unbelievable to think, a small human brain, which is a real brain. And, and uh, we will have probably an increase of humanizing the robots who have Anna, would you mind to move your body in that visual there? Okay, thank you. Uh, and and the, 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 the time that we're living together, I think uh, to ask the same question that Sonia asked, which is a correct question, what is like to be human. Well, we will also have in the next war, the one will be, which is inevitable, because the whole history of mankind is based on war. And if we don't have another war, there will be robots actually, which are in the making now, or maybe already existing, because the government is financing a lot of this. Uh, New, new technology for the future by giving uh, a lot of money to certain institutions with MIT, it's similar to MIT, in other words, you know. Mm -hmm. So, the, and human beings are going to become more and more like machines. It's going to go into what we're going to have a machine with really the robot is becoming more human. And humans are becoming more like machines, in other words. But, uh, so, if President Antonio says is a very important question, what is it like to be human? Uh, I, I have no answer to that because I, I also gonna, I also we're going to have people going in space, but there are plenty to go and live in Mars, which is a different heart, kind of a place to live in. Because everything is it, not livable for people going to Mars. And uh, we still don't know why we, as human beings, exist from the time of, of, the, of the universe. So, my interest has grown more and more in my interest. Are we, the rest of people, are related not to the Earth, but how do we relate to the universe? I've been reading books about the universe for which I didn't understand before, and now I understand much more. So it's a it's a complicated work that's coming up for us.
and then I want to say that to Satan, our finger changed for the good. Although I'm, I'm listening to you very carefully, yep. and I believe that it's essential to keep what it is to be human, the entire spectrum from the worst to the best for ongoing life, because there's something very special about this particular animal. And we can too, and many of the young people are showing other ways of finding to deal with education, to line with the, the whole money business. And I'm getting that from a lot of the young people. So I see the future as positive unless we explode the whole planet, unless, you know, it has to go artist to another space. I think of myself as being one proton going into space, and along with me are a whole lot of protons who happen to be around at the time because they're all these friends. And, and I'm hoping that you and I are protons side by side going through space. May I interject for a moment, Sonia? Uh, there's yeah. several other people listening intensely, but I noticed their microphones are all off. Philip? and Greg and Carlos, if you want to turn your microphones on, you can join the conversation. And same with you, Ed, if you'd like to speak up, or Stephen and Marilyn and Ken, please do. Ah. Thank you. I don't know what's going on there. Is my mic on here? Uh, everyone's mic is now on except for Carlos. Is there a sequence? There's a sequence, right? Well, right at the moment, that's broken down, which is okay if we want to continue, or we could jump back to the script. I see Aldo. I see myself. I see Kovanen. I see Ed. I see Aldo down below on the far right, and someone in the middle on the bottom whom I don't know. Is that Aldo's friends? Steven. That's Steven. Sonia, hi. This is Steven Archuleta. Hey. Hey. I'm so honored to be here. Um, I have something I want to read at some point. Uh, it's going to take uh, three minutes. I don't want to hog any time, but I, I feel it's important, at least for me to express. And I don't know when the appropriate time to do that is, to assure, if, I, if there's enough time for me to do that. It will be in a little bit, once we get into the two screen piece, where we'll have the okay, breaks. Great. Okay, yeah. I'd, like, I'd like to pick it up with Sonia reading number 15. Oh, 15, not 12? Okay. No, we're gonna jump ahead, okay? Okay, let's jump ahead, we're doing that right now. Uh, and it's very good what you said, Aldo, that was incredible, thank you very much. Yes, it was. It's beautiful, Aldo. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Okay. Yep. It says, Aldo, can you complete this poem? Human beings, row on row, waiting to know who will click their on switch. At each switch of row, we soon will know who lives below. Very nice. Aldo, number uh, 17, or 16. Number 16, Aldo. Just one moment, please. I'm getting the point. Number 16, December yeah. 1st. Yeah. Thank you, Ed. <laughs> Is that the laser show? <laughs> okay, here we are. For Anna, if you want to read it, and then so and then no, Aldo can I, read the poem. I, I, okay. Yeah. Thank you. December 1st. It says, Sonia, the poem you wrote seems to be completed in itself. I tried to think how I could finish it and come up with one of the poem to start in below. That you mentioned. It also talks about things we learn in the structure. Maybe warning talks about the defense of the stuff and how machine to be children to the structure. Of course, on those hands, we want to for, for the fact that a year are 
when I go lay off the mother stone, well, it's something of such a thing. Now, I don't know the yeah. point. Thank you, Waldo. Here is his poem. Do you want that? May I read your poem? Yeah, I'd like to read it. Or would you like to read it? We kill for the fist. We kill for the fist today. We kill and destroy every little for job and security. We kill the people tyrant that the fine would answer. We kill for human for human spirit of liberation. We kill, we kill, we kill, we kill the human soul. We're programming a better one in the machine. That my is an effort because the whole history of with the rest of people, because I I I I I belong to the planetary society and uh, I believe we are third people. Uh, connected to the universe, we're just a small little 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 ball to stand in this place. And I found what the what the scientists are talking about the future. And uh, I believe that the scientists that are observing the the universe are more aware of the future, in other words, uh, and than we are. And uh, it is the human kind to come with to dominate and to, 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 to take over the territory, and make colony or slavery for the native people. In other words, uh, they never, they never the peace in the future. Sonia, Sonia is 95, I am 90 years old, so we come from a very different generation. I grew up in Italy under Mussolini and under World War II, and I was found by the airplane and I came just like an inch to be killed myself. So, and then I was on the, 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 the Nazi invader that reduced the Italian into, into almost a slave society. So I'm totally aware what the next, the next war will do with the technology that we have today, because I've been reading about what the scientists are telling us. And Sonia is absolutely correct. We eventually will destroy our environment. Look at all the fire, the fire yes. in forests. We are losing forests that are necessary for us. And we are polluting the air. We are, we are destroying the ocean. In other words, little, little by little, we are destroying the environment. I'm with you. I'm with you all the way. I agree. I agree completely. Do you want to say a, a word about what you're seeing on screen? The you pictures. The capacity for destruction. The pictures of you. Do you want to say something about the pictures on screen? Who oh, okay. should say something? Either of you, Sonia, okay. Aldo. There's Aldo on the left, and then in the middle is Sonia with a younger sister, Leanna, and a brother, Smurfy. And it says Sunday, 1928, and Aldo, 19, 1933. 33, yeah. Very close in age. You were both three. What uh, was that? You're both three years old. You're both, so you're both three, three years old. We're both three years old, that's right. Is that Aldo? It should be. Doesn't look like it. it doesn't look like it. This one looks like all of them. Number 18, Sonia. Yes. We're, going there. we're jumping ahead. Yeah, we're going there. Okay, dear Aldo, I am forever grateful that we met. My first question is what brought us together with appreciation and affection, Sonia? What brought us together, Aldo? Dear Aldo, here is another page of Sunny Poetry oh, so and is about the constant struggle between power versus charm. Sonia. Sonia. And then there's this picture for so, it. Sonia, let Aldo answer how you came together. Yes. Okay, how we got together. Well, there was a an MIT at the Sensible Prestige of Study when I was 
that Alupina had a certain kind of special day, uh, I think it was called Ox Transition. And I think Alupina and Sonia too was invited. And that's what I met him. I think we must be talk about the similarity that we had because he later on invited me to Chicago. They invited me twice. And I think, uh, well, we definitely have things in common, definitely. I'd like to hear Aldo. Aldo, do you remember how I liked I liked Otto Pena's talk so much? I tried to go and I was you know myself. I tried to get on the stage and I hadn't met you yet. So I was trying to slide up on the stage when I slid down and fell on top of you. And that's when I met you. <laughs> <laughs> on top. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Okay, 21, please. Sonia. 21, dear Aldo, here's another case of Sonia poetry that is about the constant struggle between power versus charm. And I know that that is a picture because I put all my poems together with pictures. But here the picture shows power is the darker circle and below it are, is a circle. It's just switched over and I can't see it, but I remember it. But just many mix, many, there it is, many, many bits of lines and things. And of course, there is the female out in the circle in the square and all of that and that thing. And I really was always concerned with, with the power and the charm, the little sweet and light, and yet it wasn't all power. Aldo, number 23. Here. Yeah. Here two circles. Okay. Uh, December 23rd. Well, you know, uh, okay, number 24. I made a lot for them, but this double circle determines not a struggle for harmony. In my circle, the circle and has a sound which I actually hear. When I form that, they keep on resonating till they have reached a purpose balance. That they drop, then they drop and through life. My life is one for so the echo. Two circular, each thing that on an eight by eight canvas and out of from the person of black. Love to you, Sonia. Oh, uh, I see the I, picture of the servants. I have to say that today, I will say yeah. that everything which is in the universe has circular kind of form. You don't see straight line in planets and other things that are in the universe. So the circle represents actually our relationship to the cosmos, which is increasingly in my mind and what that kind of relationship. We are terrestrial people, and there are other civilizations in, in our galaxy, and, and uh, same similar to our called the Milky Way. They probably have other names. So no Milky Way galaxy. We don't we don't know what is existing in the universe, which is we probably want them to communicate it. And one day there is a, a, a particular person that wants to I think he's from Japan. He wants to take artists to 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 outside of the earth and you know the you know the uh, what they call the special places. I have a collection. Of, of statement by Kamalan from, from Russia and from uh, Arsenal from the United States 
the space itself is black. And so there are many reasons why I view black. Thank you, Waldo. Number 24, oh. Sonia. Waldo, <clears throat> thank you, Waldo, for asking the same questions. Mine often result in what I call the inner landscape. My after midnight images when asking my hand to tell me what it knows. They are my form of poetry. Meanwhile, Kathy Hart of the Dartmouth Hood Museum of Art plans to work with me here at Kendall. She's with me right now for this auto Sunday conversation. I've been very fortunate in knowing her, her through the years. A very lucky person. Kathy's present has energized me considerably and calm me down. Number 25, Sonia. Uh, there's a picture. Okay, Aldo, thank you. Anna and Aldo for this wonderful, appropriate image of a younger Aldo who may be wondering, what next? A younger Sonia is also pictured in a 1976 BQC. And there's Sonia. No, here, where is it? That picture on the left of me shows me moving through time. And what it shows is the top here is a time machine. It not only takes your picture as a camera does, but it's in between a video camera and a still camera because it shows the shadow of me following me. Which is Number 26. Different so machines Aldo. Different Number 26, okay, Aldo. Aldo. So all those two circles, Simon. And here are some two circles that I sent you from a drawing. I don't know if it's on the screen there now, but I am looking at it. Oh, there it is. That's right there. A circle within a circle. And a, it has very, very fundamental infinity signs and, and certain signs that are very fundamental. In some cases, I used to put up kind of a little dictionary of what the actual signs mean. And uh, they were always part of the notebooks just kind of investigating into how systems work, how systems work. Number 27, Sonia. Dear Aldo, here are two circles going in two directions. We're going in two directions. And there of you course, go. This, in this one, you can see uh, one series of circles is taking the natural what we're used to motion and the other circle is going in the opposite direction. And they're the beginning of life, the beginning of growth. And of course, the lips are very important. They're also a leaf and, and also are the books. And they have a lot to do with the Chinese experience. Number 28, Aldo, December 29th. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, on December 29th, dear Sonia, I guess we had met most of our work. The intent is that here's the, the painting I made in the early 60s when Warhol was making the robot that he was designing shoes. Uh, two black circles resonating like the larger picture done in the silver with duco paint. Love, love a circle. They talk to each other. Can you hear the conversation? Can yes, I, I, I can hear it. It's all going in a circle and I hear it. I hear the power and I hear the very simple, also lovely, linear, little tiny lines and elegance. Power and elegance together. Yes. Aldo, number 20. Oh, no, this is uh, Sonia, number 29, December 29, uh, December 30th. Okay. Aldo Camelini and Sonia in the summer of 1977 at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. Aldo 2020, dreaming of Sonia and Aldo in the summer of 1977. We are the primitives of a new era, 1961. Sonia, that's Aldo talking about. Sonia picked a lot of photo dreaming in 2020 and another one. And here I, this was very recent. I made a picture of you sleeping. It like looks such, such a good picture. So I sent you another one today. This one that I'm looking at now has a picture of you and me 
but the one I sent you today has your own quote in it. Okay, this is great. Aldo, do you want to say something about your primitives? Yeah, I want to explain it. That uh, when we went uh, to the moon for the first time, which it wasn't very far from, from the Earth, uh, we, we became the primitive of a new era in the sense that was the first time that we people from the Earth were going out into space into another place, which he wasn't the part of now. But today, we are printed even more so of an era coming up, which is uh, technologically more destructive and more, more technologically destructive and uh, more positive for the future of, of our life. I mean, I don't mean our life with someone and I. We're talking about the, 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 the future of the Earth itself. I mean, I see the Earth like a small planetary part of it that one day the scientists are telling that millions of years from now that the sun will become a flat, dark circle uh, that, that uh, will totally die and, and the life on Earth will die too. But that's predicted to be uh, many Millions of centuries from now, but the thing here is only end up before that. Wow. We go, we go from what we think is primitive to what is sophisticated, and then we go back again to what we think is primitive, and we find out we knew when we were primitive, we knew more than we know now. So it's constantly a rotating system, and therefore we will have a continual motion from some kind of knowledge that's powerful to less and less and to more knowledge. And we add reading and writing, and then we find out that we're in this, in this speaking person to person. So in each case, you'll always have kind of recycling of the whole process of becoming what humans are becoming and remaining no robots, not our artificial intelligence, but ourselves as humans going ahead and moving into the future. Yes. As a species. Being primitives, we all need to take a break. We've been going at this 90 minutes, so we're right on schedule. But everybody here needs to stretch. And I know you two in four and six probably do the same. So five minutes, we'll resume. You can leave your Skype on, but I'd turn your sound off. <laughs> See you soon. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's a short That's very nice. What is it? Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Are you talking to us? Yeah, I was talking to Ed. He was showing something, and I was wondering what it was. Um, so I was looking at the feedback loop uh, that I could create between my, uh, my devices. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
is it between your devices or is it also was I don't even know is Facebook still running? <laughs> Does anybody have that up? No, it was my iPad and uh, the laptop. Yes, they will feed back to one another. Yes, exactly. In the in the audio, uh -huh. I, if you, as long as you turn the audio off on one of them, we're okay. It'll, it'll mine, mine don't. Your doesn't feedback? No. Interesting. That's what I, I don't know where I turn off the sound. Well, you know, it's a mute point. <laughs> yeah, sure. Everybody's on. Well, it appears to be, but his sound is off. So um, I'm not sure if he's listening or not. Um, I'll punch his button again. Maybe it'll somehow uh, prompt him. You know that we know him very well? Uh, yes, I do know that in the background of everything. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to explain it to Aldo. Carlos Casas, remember when we were in Paris at the Pompidou? Yeah. They made the I says, he's unavailable. He, he made the. Uh, Carlos Casas was the one who made the the DVD. The DVD yeah. was the. Yeah, and Carlos was the one that did it. It says he's online, but he's not coming through. So I don't, I don't know what that's about. I don't know. John's not there. I'm, I'm looking at the the thing right now, and it's he's he's off. So Mr. Maybe, yeah. Mr. Maybe decided not to be a part. I guess. No. Oh, maybe he took a break. No, he was never on tonight at all. <laughs> or maybe it was, uh, since you had a schedule of when we would uh, be participating. Maybe, maybe I did. I did get it. I did get an time. email this afternoon. So let's see what happens. And Christine, is Will, is Willard, <laughs> Willard is in California, and I didn't know how to include him at this late date. Oh, John's online. There's John right now. I think. There's John. I think he's in California. Yes, he's John. In San Francisco. Is that John? Hello, John. It looked to me like Willard was watching on the Facebook. He had a group there. Yeah, he was. Let me check my email. He was trying to somehow at the last, you know, like five minutes to seven, trying yeah. to connect. He, ne he never sent that. Okay, so. I like how. Um, Sonia's sitting in front of the TV and the antenna behind you. It looks like you have antennas for a crown. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. Yeah. Yeah. When, you, when you sit back, it looks like you have antennas coming out of your head well, for she, a crown. She does. <laughs> it looks marvelous. <laughs> it looks great. Well, John said oh, you might come in on it. You might come down. Those are part of that. A large computer screen, and they're used for music, very fine music, and also for film. My so other computer is at the other end of the room. It's small and it works next to my television. Hey, Kath, yeah. Kathy, can I interrupt? Can you can you turn can can you turn yes. Sonia's microphone down a little bit, please? Please have pause the Oh, yeah. Bruce? We're getting communication from Carlos via chat, and he's asking for you to include him in the call. Well, right. I'm, I've, I've punched the button several times. I'll try it again. Thank you for that. He is? No, now he's dressing, so can you punch it again? I don't, I'm surprised. Okay, let me try adding there. We'll do it. I'm surprised any of this is working. He says he, he, he seems that he's not able to connect. No, he, he, he just did. He can, his image is up. Hello? Yes, Carlos, you're on. Carlos? Hello? Hello, Uzbekistan. Yes, turn your. Um, uh, uh, can you hear us? Hello. Carlos, can you hear us? Carlos, can you see? Hello. Do you hear me? Yes, yes. Can you see, Carlos? Can you see? Is the connection? Hello. Yes, it's very good. Um, let me try emailing him uh, in the background here. I, I, I cannot hear. Yes, I know you can hear. That's what we're. Uh... 
Okay, good. Let, let me see if my microphone is. No, my mics are on. Yes, we can hear you. Let's try this for a second. Just, let's see if that helps. Keep chatting. I, I see him now, too. Carlos, you're there. Do you hear us or not? I see you and I hear you. Is, is the audience on the also? Or so the they're getting ready. We're getting ready to turn the light off as soon as we get the Carlos thing resolved. Okay. Carlos, speak up, please. Well, I, I, I cannot hear or see any of you. It's, it's great to, to imagine. Can you let Ed, can you let him know that we do see him on screen and we hear him? Okay, thank you, Philip. Actually, he was chatting with all of us, Philip. Oh, I'm chatting with whoever wants to watch. <laughs> Take the lead. Okay, so Carlos, if you uh, find, I cannot read, what is this? Do, 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 do email server. Okay, so I think that's a bandwidth issue, is all I can come up with. Are we ready to rumble? Yes, the next part. I think I'm getting, I'm ready to start. You ready to start? He doesn't see anything. Um, yeah, but that's odd that we're seeing him and hearing him. Um, maybe there's a, all my stuff. I can, I can read your message, but I can hear Isn't that bizarre? Carlos, do you want, Ed and Philip, maybe, maybe you should hang up. Should he? And so much is Philip, Ed, should we hang up? And then, I mean, I have Carlos hang up and we'll call him again. Maybe it'll it'll come together. Yes, we're ready. Um, we're going to show the two screen tape now. What? Yeah, well, this is all good. <laughs> this is all good. Yeah, don't turn off. I just turned on it. Do you have some writing? I mean, it's off. Right now, there's no slash. Do you have money to work? Yeah. Okay, we'll talk. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Carlos, are you back and hearing? I get it. might be a nerve. Okay, now it's. I hear. I, 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 I hear you. Good. Okay. If you hear us, that's good enough. <laughs> okay. I think that it's it's here a sound. So before I was seeing only uh, pictures of people and drawings of you. Maybe it wasn't. I don't usually get. Uh, Robot. 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 His political views, I know someone said he's never changed. <laughs> political views. And then uh, lots of personal uh, poetry and Sarah, uh, that was the picture called Died, Alba's wife, and he has dedicated a section to her. So I don't know if you can see it. Are you able to see it? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. And then she listens. Listen, right. Okay, very nice. Available. I think that's why you're just writing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Kathy. And the introduction is by Israel Reed, which makes him uh, one of the early performers from the Umbra group who worked with Alpha in New York. Okay, so here we go. We're going to rumble because it's getting late. 
Uh, yeah. Kathy, can you turn um, the microphone down a little bit for Sonia? Because okay. it's, it's a little okay. loud to everyone else's. Okay, we'll do. Thank you. You're on a limited time now because they So everybody that's here, uh, except the audience, is probably familiar, is familiar with the 1977 picture phone event because we were all there. Um, in some respects, it was this incredible experience, which has brought us all back together again. And in other respects, at the time, it was like this bizarre train wreck, mainly because we didn't really know the technology, uh, being that we entered the room kind of naked. So what we're going to do tonight is replay the tape from end to end. But to make it work for everyone, being the audience and yourselves, we're going to stop every couple of minutes. And on the uh, program notes, the script that I sent you all, it has the timings, which I'll try to keep to. And at those moments when I stop the tape, then uh, the person designated, which will start in alphabetical order backwards with Stephen on our bottom left corner, can speak for several minutes. Uh, but I will cut you off at three minutes. And I'll cut you off by starting the tape again. <laughs> So let's go at it and see where we get. And if we need to stop and have a discussion as a group, let's do it. Okay. And he's going to stop at every certain point. And the person that's listed can have two minutes to say something. Okay. So Stevens first, then Sonia, then uh, Philip, then Marilyn, then John. If he John's not here, well, we'll see what happens. And then um, Ed, and then finish with Aldo. Okay. So here, here. Yeah, if we can manipulate our microphones, that'd be great. And if not, that's great too. Um, so one of the things I wanted to do before we started was there's the people that aren't here tonight, and uh, that were there then, and I think we owe them that that honor. And uh, here's a nice series of pictures in the workshop at the Generative System Studio of Holly uh, Podolowski. I hope I'm saying her name correctly. And I wanted to show everybody's, everybody's work because I think that's important that the art part of it. So this was a piece by, by uh, uh, um, um, I'm spacing out her name already. <laughs> Ms. Thank you, thank you very much. Also, uh, <laughs> Gerda Meyer Bernstein, is that correct? Am I saying it correctly? Yeah. This is one of her works from, uh, I think it's 1976, or all these are from the Yoni book of 1976. I believe she's still with us living, uh, but she's a year older than Sonia. And, she oh, she did die? Okay. Okay. Well, God rest her soul. Here's a picture from Will Thornton. Um, who declined being in the call. He, we, he, we asked him and we were communicating, but he, he didn't want to do it, which is understandable. Uh, that's him in the middle. In the, in the uh, video we showed earlier of the uh, copying machine, the, uh, the Bob Wallace tape, when Bob lifts his face off the machine and Sonia's showing him the copy, you see Will get, walk in with that odd gait that he had. He walks in the door and walks up and you know around the room. It, it was nice to see that. And then there's Kathy Content. I can't say her name. Cotton? Correctly? Somebody correct me, please. Koton. Yeah. Whoa. And uh, she is around too, but she declined to be in the call too. So I think we covered everybody. Oh, oh, and then there's Ron Cohn. It's a very nice image of Ron's. Um, and then there's Ron Cohn was a lawyer for Trump. <laughs> <laughs> And then there's Sonia from the room at the time. And you notice the pictures are all the students on the wall. I think in the middle there's Philip uh, and Kathy amongst those people. They're talking about the students who aren't here. Yeah. Who aren't I came to generative systems not knowing anything, which I think all of us didn't know. But I was making Xerox murals in the mid 70s before entering the department. So. And this is how the whole thing started seeing Aldo's video at ZKM in one second shot that we saw in the little preview. So here we all are uh, leading up to the workshop and it's on your program notes here. Uh, now this is what the picture phone people advertised. 
And uh, this is what they got. <laughs> There's Holly with the camera in the room. It didn't, I don't think it quite worked out the way that they envisioned. But we had Aldo and Sonia, each individual came up with a unique way of making their presence known. I think that's a Davy, um, a Davy drawing that was going on, a portrait of Sonia. Aldo thinking, that's Davy doing the drawings on the left. We couldn't find him. And there's Kathy and John. And at some point we started touching the screen, which you'll see soon. Yeah, and I, I'm just- One thing, one thing before we get into this that I, I wanted to try to make, help you with, the audience. He's just, he's, he's uh, let me find a picture here. Because he's going to give us three minutes. So. Yeah. Uh -huh. This room was really, is really fragmented in the video to the extent where you can't really understand what's going on. What we're looking at here is a really rough drawing that I made sort of from memory and watching the tapes. TA1 was the room on the left, and TA room is the run on, TA2 is the room on the right. The circles are generally the people. But what was confusing, and the table in the TA one's a square and the circle in the other one, and there was a back row in TA two also. What was odd was the, uh, 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 the uh, placement of the equipment in the room, which really none of us, like I said, knew beforehand. But if you looked at the wall, which I don't know if you see my cursor moving around in TA two, it had two monitors on the wall. But if I got this right, and somebody can correct me, the desk, there was a control panel in the desk that had this set of four images. Is that correct, Philip? Or am I off? So what it did was this, is if you're at the TV sets, there was actually only two in the, in the wall. Okay. Bruce, I don't see anything that you're showing to your audience. Oh, you should have said something, huh? Oh, oh, you know why? The screen sharing is off. Thank you, Philip. Um, I still don't see anything. Yeah, I know the screen sharing was off. Sorry about that. It should be back on now. No. Yeah. Now, on. now you do. Now everybody's on. Yeah, yes. I see it, but I don't see people from the conference call. Yeah. Do you see the picture of the room? Your sketch is relatively oh, yeah. close to what happened. Yeah. So the point I'm going to make, I'm, all I'm trying to make here is orientate you a little bit because the two, the two TVs in each wall had the cameras mounted next to them. And the arrows are pointing the direction that the cameras pointed in fixed positions. So there was a straight on shot, a shot to the left side of the table, a shot to the right. Then each room had another camera on the right side of the room on a tripod, which I'm circling right now. So my little stick figure, and Holly was on this camera, and Will was on this camera. And then everybody moved around or whatever. And then somewhere in the room, there was a station for sending pictures and receiving pictures in real time. So they were uh, facsimile type images. And that's another thing going on. And then there's two blackboards uh, on the right side here and here. I only show this to you because it, it'll, it won't make any sense while watching the video. And so with that note, uh, I think that covers everything. That's it. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go at it. And uh, we're gonna do about five minutes here. Well, if I can find it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so they're showing. Well, they're showing. <laughs> the streaming is. Streaming it back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the exhibition. We put the two side by side. So that's where I was, and that's where she was. So you see what's going on in the room. We're back, and we're going to open the 
I have to admit that, that everybody's audio speaking is drowning out the tape totally. We, we, it's very hard to hear the tape. Um, so I'm not sure how we should do this because we, we can't, uh, with the microphones on, we can't hear the video. Well, we could turn ours off. That would be a good uh, start. <laughs> and I will stop it. That's the way you have it on, though. Yeah, it's just, it's just, uh, it's really hard to hear the tape. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. Okay, thank you. Does that work? Yes. It, it says, when a man's word goes, and it was power of perception goes, to that point is control of the sense. It is physical resistance is a standard. To see and to give commands to the whole world is wrong to see. It is wrong to the same as being everywhere. And in the way, it was wrong. What is happening is lost by an ounce, by the end of it, the whole world actually could be conscious of it for the moment. Not only the people in this room, not only the people that die, but I would say that the whole world has to live for the last half of us. But one day you get able to see the church, the Lord, the church, the Lord.
Okay, Stephen, you're up. Um, okay, hold on. Uh, yeah, so. You want to tell everybody who you are again so we all can hear here? Yeah, okay. I'm not going to uh, read what I wrote. I'm going to send it to you, Bruce. Okay. Uh, and you can, you know. So, um, uh, Sonia and Aldo, uh, this is Steve Oshowitz. Um, I was a student in the class, and this is an amazing and phenomenal activity that we can all be together and have this beautiful uh, memory that we bring forward into the future for uh, future generations. Um, Sonia, Aldo, your work. It's amazing, it's inventive, um, it's extremely innovative, um, and it's, it's such an honor to, to be with you now and share this so many years later. And I just want to, and, and your inspiration and, and uh, your sense of um, innovative time and space will, will go into the future. And I want to acknowledge that Sonia and Aldo's work is exemplifying, in my view, the concept and activity of being great experimentalists, where you pulverize the separation of art and science, and you bring them into a human phenomenon with its own identity. And um, I see you on the same track as the wheel, electromagnetism, the steam engine. I see what you do is science as well as art and technology. In my view, you are contributing to science as well as art and, and technology. So your contribution um, is, is large uh, for the future. And I'm just very honored to have been part of it uh, in some way. Um, and and thank you, thank you so much. All right, that's really nice. <laughs> Did they get that? 
I think they did. Uh, we're, 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 you you, you uh, have anything else you'd like to say to them? I see Anna smiling, so she must have heard it. Uh, Sonia, yeah. are you good? They just, yeah. They both need to know. They both need to know that their work is even more important than, than it's already important, but it's even more important as time goes on, and, and they they need to uh, be aware of that and be uh, be certain about that. As time goes on, their work will even become more important. Well, thank you very much, Stephen. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, we're we're Stephen, gonna... are you able to hear me? Are yeah. You... Susanna, are you able to hear me? Yeah. Oh, I I just want to say that I know that Aldo's kind of very, very tired right now, but I want to say how precious those words are and and you will reflect on them, I think, when he has a little bit more energy. But it is so critical at this point of his life being so ill and, and having all these ideas and and this uh, yearning inside of him to be able to reach out and tell people what he believes in, that he's affected a lot of younger students who rally around him just to, to give them energy and to have them go, keep, keep moving forward. So I know that when he has a chance to listen to your words and he can hear them, he'll also feel them because that's his goal at this point of his life to say, what is my life and all of hope? Thank you. I'm Thank honored you to be so a part much. of this. Thank you. Thank you all. We're going to go back to the movie. So microphones <laughs> off, please. You keep on giving me these hard jobs. I know, I know. Sorry, Ryan. Who's the infant? 
Okay, uh, we're ready for Sonia. You have your th two to three minutes. Yeah. Okay, Sonia, you're on. All right. What I'm thinking of now is all the people at the Art Institute of Chicago, and I'm talking primarily about the students who were so fascinated and so interested in everything, and that really made life there possible. Because right now, the man who was the director very often in the last years, his name is Roger Gilmore. Believe it or not, he lives just downstairs at the entrance to where my building is. His name is Roger Gilmore, and he became the director. And so he has a lion from the Art Institute and some of the drawings from all the students of that time. So life is kind of a mystery that way. But the students meant everything with me. And if you read much or go on Google and read about me, you'll find time and again what it says is that Sonia always had the students with her. I was taught by my own father that you stand on the shoulders of others. And therefore, since I was standing on the shoulders of others, they could then stand on my shoulders. In other words, and we, we could reach for the stars or whatever it was. So students became very important in everywhere I was, there they were. I still have one student here, and unfortunately he has a cold, or he'd be here in this room right now with me, and his name is Greg Goodlock. His father was Robert Goodlock, the man who made Zira possible. And unfortunately he is dead now, but his son Greg was brought to me when Greg was in the middle of his graduate school work and not too happy. And the father said, I think you'll be happy in generative assistance. And when Greg showed up, there several things happened. And I would say this must be in 1978, perhaps. And what happened was that he met the, the other son who became a doctor from the 3M scientist done this did they? So people always being brought together. Now, Greg lives near, very near me, which again is very strange. But Greg Goodluck in my class, once his father brought him out of the one school into the general system class at the Art Institute of Chicago, Greg got five patents <laughs> immediately for the very deep photography. And so Greg has a cold right now, and so he can't be in here with me. Otherwise, he would be right here at this particular time. Well, yeah. Do you have any reflections on picture phones? Pardon? Do you have any reflections on picture phones? A picture phone now. What's the devil was a picture phone? <laughs> 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 Thank you, Kathy. Okay. That was a long time before Greg. And the picture phone, it was really quite a long time ago for me. I remember that I was able to get a hold of a Dell telephone company. And they said, you can have these two rooms. And Aldo was coming for the summer. Actually, it all happened to come quite a while later. And therefore, I ended up running the class for a while. So we ended up with two rooms, one for me and one for Aldo. And certain students went with Aldo, and other graduate students went with me. And as a result, we had the two rooms. And we could communicate for a very short period of time but it was very interesting to see in one room the girls changing clothing all the time. I never could figure that out. I wish they'd tell me why they were always putting out these clothing on themselves. And with my group, they were very quiet and very polite. And I think they didn't put any lights on me because I was very dark and they had started 
I don't think they were tech oriented. I think they were the very kind of very sensitive kind of artist. But I swear off, it's very different. So that is what happened at that time, though, turned out to be an historic process that would end up now being the center of a conversation because what happens is the beginning of something that will become something in everyone's pocket. What no one knows is I only design clothing for the future. And one of the things I designed, if I knew that I was going to talk about it now, I would have drawn a picture of that. And what it was, was an outfit, all white, in which there were pockets for various kinds of equipment we would carry. And one was a tiny little pocket right near the ear. Turns out it would be the cell phone in the future. <laughs> so always anticipating what might happen. That was very interesting. And I think that what happened is, in the beginning at Howard Institute, uh, there were a certain number of how-to courses. And that really wasn't what I was interested in. And so I lost a lot of students when they didn't get the how-to, but in came an entire new body of students. And I left out because they were all the thinking artists, the thinking artists. And once the thinking artists came in, that's how people like Redmond Locke and the other people from their science, to science fathers uh, would come in. And therefore, I can't tell you what I did, what the students did. All I know is we always, we always were together. There was a kind of leadership there at Sport because you have a job, you have a position, you can do a certain thing. But fundamentally, there were all these interesting people. So I loved about teaching as you're learning. You're learning from the people you're with. And I had a lot to learn about what makes certain kinds of artists. It's very, very important to find that out. So I found out as though I did not plan to be a teacher. In fact, I don't know if anybody knows here. But at one time, I was a social investigator for the city of New York. Sonia, I have to interrupt yeah, because we have to I move onward. We, we, we need to move onward, unfortunately. So I, I hate to interrupt, but uh, can we pick this up a little bit later in the, in the uh, discussion between folks? Anytime. Yeah, sure. Ask any questions. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you, Sonia. That was wonderful. Thank you. Dude. We'll be back. Whoops, where's the sound? Ah, I can't find the button. Where'd the button go? There it is, okay. Sorry about that, folks. Just give me a moment to have my technical moment. Okay, there we go. Thank you. 
communicating with your wife, are we communicating with our room to give each other? What are we willing to give each other over this space? What sort of impact on each other? Is how you see yourself the way we see you? Are you interested in how we see you? I'd like to know how you see us. Do you see us the way we see ourselves? Do we understand that you understand? We are plants, we are dead animals, we are like insects, we are the sun, we are molecules, we are just man energy, we are the way we are atoms, hormones, and what we will cry, whatever our mind will lose, or whatever it will lose, that just means God has to do this meaning. I thought it was the same as before. Oh. Still there? We are learning. We are learning about what you were. But are we learning? We will be taught. <coughs> Philip, I think it's your shot here. Hopefully your image will jump up on screen as soon as I can find a button. Okay. Oh, there you uh, are. Hey, you guys hear me? Yep, loud and clear here. All right, well, hello everyone. It's wonderful to participate in this video call. Thank you, Bruce, for facilitating all of this. During the workshop back in 1977, we had wonderful ideas about communication that I only recall by reviewing the Ta book. Um, for those that want to see it, this is the Ta book. It's the uh, collection of the journal of everybody that participated in the workshop. Um, we had very creative ideas about using that. When we went into the conference rooms, who knew what would transpire? I think we're all a bit surprised. Perhaps if there was an opportunity for a second call event, we would have done something remarkable, learning from the first event with all the technological challenges. The interactive potential of the system, the performance capabilities, and the ability to bridge space and time yearned for more exploration. Alas, we took the experience and became part of our collective future lives. Sonia, Thank you for all your inspiration when I was a student at the Art Institute and throughout the years with the special projects via Facebook. Your legacy will live on for a very long time through your former students and their associates and their students. To my fellow generative system students and colleagues, how nice to reconnect by this updated medium. It still seems quite primitive, however. <laughs> I look forward to improved technology perhaps in the next 40 years. <laughs> so I have to say, and I'm going to stick to it. Sorry, Philip, I had to laugh. <laughs> That's okay. Anybody want to respond to Philip if, Phil, if Philip is done? <laughs> That's all I have to say, but I'll, I'll, I'll entertain questions. Philip, I'm trying really hard to make your picture big on screen, and it's just not cooperating. So I feel uh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, Bruce, Sonia would like to say something. Go for it. Go for it, Sonia. Philip, 
when I remember very well as all the many things you tried, it seemed to me that you were trying to get Mexico somehow working with people in the United States. And maybe you remember something about that. Do you remember that? There was always something. You were the thinking artist. You were. Well, thank you, Sonia. Very much the thinking artist. Yeah, I, I don't call the Mexico connection, but I do have very uh, clear memories of the fun we had in your classroom. You know, and uh, it was all full of exploration and experimentation. Well, and you know, you might be interested. Dennis Dibbig, do you remember him from 3M? I do. He wrote that in one of the books for his own scientist. He said, we want you to go in and watch Sonia because she's playing. And that's and what we wanted to play. And that's what you guys all did. You played with everything and came up with wonderful things that were stimulating for me. So it made teaching really worthwhile. And I thought, I thought of you as thinking artists. All right. Well, thank you. You're welcome, dear. I, I was hoping to show you all the Ta book. Uh, it, it, there's so many pictures buried everywhere that uh, it's somehow hard to find. But there's well, Philip sent that earlier get, today. There you go. You get the, uh, Do you see the it? Larger on the screen. I can flip through so many pages here, but um, I can't figure it out, unfortunately. Sorry. Okay. Well, but the one image I'll is up on screen. My circle. Is that is that the, who who made that circle? Oh, the top of yeah. Do you, do you see it? Does yeah. everyone see it? Yeah, I, I'm not sure who created that illustration. It uh, or the cover of the book. Yeah. To be honest with you, it might have been David, who was the you know the one who was drawing throughout the entire workshop and documenting everything through sketches. So um, he might have done it, but um, it doesn't look quite this style. So I'm not sure. No, it doesn't. That's what I was wondering. Huh. Yeah. Another mystery for another time. Yeah. Okay, here we go again.
I think this is a good moment for uh, Marilyn to enter the dialogue. Marilyn, are you there? Yes, I see you. I see you. <laughs> okay. Hello. Yes. Okay. Okay. And I want to say hello to Ken. And here's Ken. I don't have any live animals, but this will do. <laughs> I'm still making photographs. Hi to all of you. And uh, I want you just to film me above the waist because I don't have any pants on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Ken started to make photographs. And he's made photographs the last 50 years in the way we still made them. But what he did was break the spell that the photograph was truth and that we 
make photographs. And they are representations of our thought forms and what Sonia and Aldo and Ken all did as teachers is that they treated the students straight across as an equal and they learned as much from the students as, as they gave to the students to teach. So the dynamic of being each a student and a teacher continued. And to lead is to serve and that they can and Sonia have a shared heritage in the Bauhaus where technology was a vehicle and a tool for our humanity. And that we were creating a new world through the beauty of and aesthetics of design. Aesthetics is enlightening. And what's happened since then is that when Ken was making conceptual photographs before the term of conceptual, now it's become a pedagogy where the image is value for her can be heightened theorized. And when Sonia would teach, she would always come back to the core reason we were making art is to understand and question what this is in our being human. And she would talk about Jim just grabbing her and saying, I love you, I love you, Sonia. And she'd talk about her own process and how, how difficult that was. And she so she would talk always about the humanity and about the, about the importance of love and in this moment where we have a government that no longer serves us because it serves power and prestige and we have an inverted totalitarianism where systems of wealth are annihilating wow. the environment because everything is a commodity, the mm -hmm. human is a commodity, the environment is a commodity. We have to come back to the way of understanding way to our nature. Yes. 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 At a moment where we're all hooked up but not connected, we're connecting here. And we don't become ourselves by ourselves. And rather than having the mantra that our technology has struck our humanity, we have to reclaim the humanity and that seed that Aldo, that Sonia, that Karen Francis about it being energetically straight across and that everything confirmed of religion, of our ubiquitous, of our presence, of a Godhead, and an infinity is substantiated by the quantum physics. And we are in an expanding, accelerating infinity of cosmology. And our very action of the faith and affects that we are the divine within that are co-creating. And this is a reclaiming, an interconnection, and a, and a, and a seizing of that of us being human and that love is immeasurable. They try to block love, they try to make walls where love cannot be uh, people communicating to their beloved through a monitor and uh, are hooked up and they're physiological, they're physiologically hooked up and, and love barrels through any wall that they try to make that stops it. So love, it's our capacity for love that still is an enigma, it's mysterious and it's more powerful than any wall that could be built. And so that's what we're trying to hear. So we salute you, Sonia, Aldo, and Ken as our elders. And we're also calling down the ancestors and the future generations in this moment that we're reframing the reclamation of love and humanity over power and prestige and the commodity of everything to serve this rules of death that's happening at this moment. So from here on in, we are co-creating together, raising the bar of love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> and on that note, nice to see you, Ken. It's been a long time. <laughs> You're looking good. We won't share your image with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> and now back to the dynamic duo. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That was great.
<laughs> the sleepwalking. Ed, it's appropriate timing. Isn't that an accident? <laughs> Are you ready, Ed? Sure. And now uh, I'd like to open a comment with thanking uh, Sonia and Aldo. Uh, I didn't appreciate all those comments as much as I do uh, at this point in time, so especially as related appreciation. Uh, Sonia knows I always appreciated it. So uh, goes without saying. Uh, very quickly, some context about generative systems. This is when the internet was connecting seven universities and a bunch of Air Force uh, missile bases. So this is uh, in a different world where technology, the way it is appreciated now, was not appreciated as a part of our. Uh, at the Art Institute, there was uh, um, definitely a bias that art was painting and sculpture and dance. Um, and there were a group of us uh, in the basement doing general systems for uh, electronic music. But generative systems was unique. Generative systems not only experimented with basically any technology out there in the belief that any technology could be used to enhance humanity to be used for art. It you was know, an area of the earliest use of personal computers for fine art, the earliest integration of multiple physicals, we wired up everything in the basement, including the dexers, to create a real-time performance. We did the earliest use of neuron biofeedback, thank you very much, Philip and John, the earliest use of airplane writing, I think it was a cloudy day, but uh, Grayson Marshall was up there trying to apply skywriting for fine arts. So nowadays when there are so many art technology departments all over the landscape, let's keep in mind that these are not the same thing that GS was and that humanity, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be between this, humanity still needs, which is a place where there are unique lessons to creativity. We didn't just use the technology like video and, and audio. We experimented and took up the challenge of creating art from all of the technology that goes out there. We were doing meta creativity. What I mean by meta creativity is uh, one kind of creativity takes an existing means like painting and then comes up with creative examples in that media. Another form of creativity comes up with solving existing problems with new technologies. Generative systems combine the two because the boundary between art and science there didn't exist. That's what I learned is creativity is creativity. Stop worrying about what to call it and just do it. The experimental piece that Steve was talking about. So I would offer that uh, Sonia and Aldo did more than their, their fair share. They did their part. Uh, it's up to the rest of us who came after to continue explaining and sharing that there is more to creativity than the labels, that there is a way we can use all of our technology to enhance our humanity and, and echoing the statements from the tape, use that humanity in dialogue to better shape the technology. I've been doing this for decades. It works, but it only works if you're willing to accept the challenge. If you don't believe it, well, you lose every, uh, you miss every shot for, for Wayne Gretzky. You miss every shot if you don't try to make That's it. Wonderful. Thank you, Ed. That was really, really, really moving. <laughs> um, we're closing in the witching hour here at the, at the Howe Library. So I think we're going to slip in enough time to finish up. Uh, yeah, we are. And then we'll hear from Aldo and have to call it a night because 10 o'clock is witching hour.
Supposed to be. I've been folding a book for two hours, believe me. Thank you. 
And they cut us off. <laughs> we we'd spent our thirty minutes. <laughs> oh my God! Aldo, do you have a few closing remarks? Hi, uh, this is Anna. Thank you so much for letting me share. Go I'm for it, Anna. Room. Uh, enjoyed planning the and through some issues. And here's the best picture I can show you about them to say goodnight and to sign up. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Aldo. Good yeah. night. Yeah. Is this the Aldo? We love you, Aldo. We love you, Sonia. Love you, Sonia. Love you, Aldo. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia. Thank you very much. Aldo, as always. Marilyn and Ken. Greg, Philip, Carlos and Uzbeka, wherever. And somebody in the end who I don't know who. Oh, oh, Stephen. No. Who's the last? That's John, maybe. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa, stop. Hold on, everybody. John, you're on. John gets to say a few words. John, speak up. So, go ahead, John. John's going to speak. John joined us. Speech. Hello, all. Well, I'm kind of speechless at a moment like this. I guess the thing that I want to do more than anything else is send uh, uh, love to Sonia. And uh, thinking about this is a catalytic moment in which all of these strange threads uh, come together. Um, and uh, I'm very pleased to be here. For that very oh, reason. Yeah, John, I'm sorry. I can't blow your image up because I haven't figured it out. But you have a couple more minutes if you'd like to talk about any of the event or anything else. Um, no, I'm, I'm actually here to listen. Um, I missed uh, the, the uh, opening remarks. Uh, the uh, um, words that Ed added uh, when we were on, uh, I was looking at actually at the Facebook page. So how far into the show are we? We're right at the very end. They're ready to kick us out of the building in seven minutes. We got seven minutes. Yes, so you can speak for seven minutes, or you all can speak uh, if you like. Uh, go for it. Even you, Stephen, driving your car or shopping or whatever you're doing. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Who wanted to add some? Yeah. I right. In Chicago, from Hamburg County Art, where I was painting in stereo, I do two paintings and look at them through a viewer to see them in 3D. And the head of my painting department said that wasn't a valid art form. So my father introduced me to Sonia, and we got talking about time. And I just knew that you know I found a home in, at the School of the Art Institute in Chicago. And the first semester that I was there, I was talking with Ed, and Ed told me that. Uh, that an event is a four-dimensional solid. I remember specifically he said that, and that made so much sense to me. And I'm thinking tonight about how we're seeing images of Sonia and Aldo from you know 
80 some years ago, 90 some years ago, uh, and then in the 70s, and we're seeing all these uh, steps in time that are really giving us a shape of their lives, of the whole flow of the development of the technology. And uh, it gives us an experience of time itself, uh, which is really rich for me. So I'm thankful for being able to be part of this. Wow, and we're thankful you joined us. That's a beautiful statement. Anyone else before we say sayonara, as they used to say somewhere? <laughs> Bruce, thank you so much for doing that unbelievable thing, putting this all together. It's just, you did a, just wonderful work. I have no idea how it happened. Ed, Sonia, Anna, Aldo, John, Greg, Philip, Marilyn, Ken, Carlos. Ed, Ed. Ed wait. Ed. Marilyn has one more thing to say, and that's it. Well, 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 no, I mean, it's really what it is. It's about how we're going to take care of each other, how we're going to be in the community, how we're going to connect. So, so what we've done here is so restorative of that which is going to keep us sustainable and resistance to these things that have overpowered our humanity. And so this has been so heartening and that it's been rough and raw and, and, and wild and unexpected. It's a second in the process that what's messy and, 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 and crazy and unexpected and that this has just been pure joy. So thank you. My, my honor and I want to stay, hope that we can stay connected as well. And now we know how to use Skype. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> good, good night, everybody. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, Sonia. Goodbye, and thank you for all of this history and getting to see old friends and old faces and being alive to be able to enjoy it. Yeah. So <laughs> 95 years. Thank you, one and all. Congratulations. Thank you, Sonia. Good night, good night, everybody, and much love, messy love. Okay, thank you, folks. That was an experience. Get out of this thing now. Eric, are you sure? Oh, yes. See you not. I don't know. <laughs> Good. Oh, it's saved. Far out. Okay. So we're good. We're out of here. The actual experiment you mentioned in between the two rooms, how long did that last? Right. 35 minutes. 35 minutes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So uh, you, that's the only way we were able to squeeze it in, as they say. Uh, how do I turn this off? Are you sure you want to dump something on your computer? Thank you, everyone, for putting up with all the shenanigans. I like that as much as uh, what Godard said. So what is it? You didn't talk to what I was going to do?